then there's some people that just can fully imitate one specific character, and that's, you know, like Elvis. Yeah. An Elvis impersonator. There's a lot of Elvis. You don't see an Elvis impersonator run around doing fucking George Bush. And, and... Being an impersonator would be a hard thing. Oh, like, yeah. I can't do one voice. You're fine. You're fine. That's all I got. And it's tough. I'm, I'm sure you get caught up in it. Like, I can't do an Arnold, like, y'all hit the chopper. <laughs> that's see, you're Arnold. horrible, too. You hit, you hit me with the to Arnold. The chopper, to the oh, chopper. Hit me with an Arnold. Can Arnold. You can do one. Um, hey. I, 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 yeah, like, I can do weird <laughs> shit like that. Like, I do like, my own voice. High hey. school. High school. Terminator yeah. had nothing to do with high school. <laughs> it's not the tumor. <laughs> Fucking see, see, that's good. Get in the it? chopper. That's no, right. No. Get to the chopper. <laughs> it's so bad. It's tough. I'm the man. worst at it. Like I can't hang. You know, like when you like, California. Say you're at a party or a I social am your governator. When the fucking impersonations come out, you know it happens every right. now and then. Yeah. No, yeah, in real life it's great. It happens. I can't. But would hang. you really go scour YouTube for the best Donald Trump impression? Maybe I mean, just right now because I'm high. Yeah, though. Yeah, That's thinking it. about it. It's because you're thinking. Because it would be it. kind of fun to hear it. Like okay. you know what I mean. Well, I mean, look at Dana Carvey. He's a great impressionist. Who? Okay. He's Who's awesome. who would you? say is the best Elvis impression. The See, I don't Elvis know. Elvis impression? I don't know. Well, yeah, we'd have to look at who's we'd have to Google. Oh, Someone it's, in it's Vegas. Jim Carrey. Jim, Jim Carrey? Carrey? Easy. All right. He does a good Elvis yeah. now. I bring it up. You're right. Dude, You're right. okay. Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey is... coming back, man. We need some Jim Carrey back. Yeah. Does he have anything coming out? Some like I wanted no. to do more of this dark weird. No. I feel like I've heard of something. I know, He's just I painting and he fucking got eating stevia, dude. <laughs> Like he's, Painting and eating stevia. He's Max Graves on Jerry. a whole other he gets level. A little drop sweetener like <laughs> yeah. the one I have. Like in the cars. And he got pretty yoked too. He got buff. I don't that. know. No, he did, man. He was he was is getting he, is built. he big? He was getting built in his upper body for a He's a painter. There. Jim Carrey paints. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Like a lot. So does uh George W. Bush. Yeah. So did true. Hitler. George yeah. W. Bush does portraits. God, he had to go there. <laughs> Trying to be it. positive, talking about Carey. We had to go Hitler. I'm saying I want Jim Carrey back in the movies, man. Yeah, I, did too. I actually just watched Eternal Sunshine, The Spotless Mind again. Um, Holds up. And it's been years. Yeah, it's a great movie. I don't think I've ever seen it all the way through. It's a fucking good one, a trippy one. It definitely reminded me of weird high school depression and ex-girlfriends and yeah. shit. But, you know, it's good. Hey, Happy New Year, guys. <laughs> happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome to the Triple B Podcast. Uh, I just said Happy New Year's yawning. Let's try it again. All right. Okay. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. <laughs> well, welcome to the Triple B Podcast. I'm 2017, Zeb. man. Oh, it's a hey, new world, everybody. a new leaf. We're this is Abba. Hello. Ranting right now. And Chase is over there. He's a little stoned. He's good, though. I'm high. We're in good, we're good spirits. <laughs> well, I'm we in are. good spirits, it's though. It's been a great day, man. <sighs> and we've made some big decisions. Well. Zed, did you have a bad or good day? I had a good day. It started a little rough. I didn't want to get out of bed. Yeah, I feel you. Same here. Uh, yeah. Same here. It's hard to get I mean, out. I hung out with uh, Uncle Patron last night for I, a I, little I, too I, long. I, um, mm-hmm. But good. other than that. I had a glass of wine last night. I let my hair down. Just one night. glass? Ah, uh, two. I had a few seltzers, bro. It was crazy. Yeah. What were you drinking? Merlot? Merlot uh, train wine. <laughs> See, it's not train wine. It is. No, it's not. Came from the train. Well, how would you define train wine? Yeah, what's your definition? Well, it would have to be like wine made on a train. Okay, not happening. <laughs> or it should have a train on the the label. Or maybe they use the little train sure. to squish the grapes. Like, called like caboose. I mean, the finest and box. There's, there's wine. a good chance. The train there's a good wine. chance that most of the wines you've ever had got to you by a tr- on a train. I imagine train using plastic bottles for their wine too. You know? <sighs> like, are you picturing a company called Train that makes wine? <laughs> I know, I'm like picturing the I'm wine like, that's made on the yeah, train. Yeah, what's oh, okay. what we're all picturing? Because I'm picturing like a Greyhound, like drinking on that's a, yeah, a bus. Absolutely. Oh, oh yeah, not Amtrak. 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 Yeah, <laughs> you agreed with Fuck, me. Agreed. With Burlington. Yeah, absolutely. Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking gray or trains. Trains. What is it? Amtrak. 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 Yep, I'm high. Amtrak Cascades. Yeah, I'm oh, thinking yeah, like, bro. okay, so what nice do you think? Of you sitting in the fucking diner car. What do you think? Yeah, talking you, to some you're a train person. rider, Zeb. What do you think, or what do you know wine looks like on a train? It looks like wine everywhere else. Hmm. Come in a, do they have a wine glass on a train? They give you the little uh, single serving bottle. Right. It's a glass bottle. Yeah. In a, okay. in a plastic cup. And a, yeah, like a plastic wine cup. Like drink up, you fucking lush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't it's kind of best. Two hours on the train. It's best bang for your buck. Wine. It's best bang for your buck on a train. Yeah. Because it's like 12% alcohol. Well, right? because 15. the beers on a train are like 6 to $8 or some shit. Yeah. It's, it's, a it's You know what? It, uh, it's not as bad as 
a movie theater or a stadium. Hey, that's true. Things are just expensive now. Movie theaters are uh, places and events are expensive. Like, how, how do you justify the fucking movies? Just living is expensive it's because crazy. the movies we get gone away through, with. We've it. gone through this before, man. Do you not remember me telling you? Because the movies do not make money off of the movie ticket sales, okay. or they make a small, small portion. Okay. So the only way for them to make money is through concessions. So that's why they fucking jack up the prices because it's the only way for them so to stay. So the in theater wow. has Fair to enough. has to pay to be able to show the movie. Wow. Right. What these movie companies, man? I tell you, I'm oh, saying now you're shifting the blame. They've seriously you fucking got blame somebody. You know what? That's true. That's actually a it's really true. good segue into a the movies also a topic a lot for reasons. A topic right. I wanted to talk about this week, which is the most pirated movies of 2016. Ooh, I like that. Um, Ooh. Before we get into that, Ooh. I just want to mention that we are going to have a couple of different. Uh, year-end lists for you guys, yeah, which yeah. I'm sure you're all looking very forward to. Who I bet love you're lists. jumping with, um, with excitement. We also are going to talk about. Uh, we went today to Barlow Tavern and had uh, chicken and waffles. Such a good decision, which is quite a departure from our normal, uh, yeah, routine, mode. Man. Right? It's different. Um, and we're going to talk about that some more. I got to say, uh, going chicken and waffles today put me in a different mood coming in here. It yeah. did. It chicken did. and waffles look good on you. Thanks. <laughs> not not unlike those stretchy pants. Ooh. Right. That, those waffles and are hey, still on. And hey, everybody you. listening right now, we'll get into that. So Chase stop. is wearing stretchy Please pants. Stop I wear stretchy stop. pants, stop. and let's just say he's pregnant. Life is fucking complete. <laughs> All right, I can grow into these, and I'm a little bit fashion forward right now. Yeah, Do, you are, are, are you trying forward. to grow? Is that your plan? No, but I'm just saying I have a backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> After Barlow Tavern, we went to Nectar on uh, North Mississippi for some uh, cannabis products. Yummy. Um, we consumed them. Oh, Fine. where's that? Which are totally legal. Prices. Where's that edible? Why? I was going to eat it. He nope. was. He mentioned it. Well, it's in the car. Ah, never mind. I can't eat it now. I guess I'll just have to be regular high. So, uh, <laughs> back to our, our subject of movies being expensive. Yeah. Uh, it's a. A night at the movies for a family of four is running you upwards of a hundred dollars. Hundred bucks, these days. easy. Yeah, when I take the two ladies, it's. Crazy. I mean, you if you go two, bro, it's like a sixty to eighty dollars. If you go IMAX, you're sixty to eighty in tickets alone. But that's why, man, it's the cheap theaters, the the second run, nickel those, arcades, uh, man, and those that's sorts the, of See, I'm not. Jam. This is what when you're a, a parent. Yeah. This is what I'm, I'm when I'm a parent. Let okay. me change this. This is what I'm doing. I'm not introducing them to IMAX or expensive things. They don't even know it exists. No, right. we only go to the nickel arcades and we only go to the fucking. There's nothing wrong with There's that. Nothing wrong. Here's your here's, the, here's your problem. See, like a homeschool kid. The you know? the minute your kid touches an an iPad or a tablet, know. Fucked. they know everything. Fucked. Yeah. Yep. You so, can't get away with that. It's not. You like can hide anymore. things from your kid, but you're gonna have to lock them in a closet like Harry Potter. Right, but that's what I'm saying. I'm going to do that. You're gonna do it. Yeah, my kids are dead. <laughs> Just already dead. <laughs> it's over. They're done. Let's have some kids <laughs> yeah. so we can ruin their lives. Yeah. So on the <laughs> topic of expensive movies, um, yeah. the rebellion, the resistance against expensive movies yes. is pirating. Right. Which is just completely free. Well, I have a little list here of the top pirated movies of 2016. Okay, what are the people into? The savvy internet Should we make tech. some guests? Savvy people. Well, you go, I mean, think of the movies that were out this year. All right. And then guess maybe what you think. Top pirated movies? I'm mean, okay. Star Wars came out. Right. X-Men. Right. Suicide Squad. Right. Uh, Captain America. I right. But these are, are all, all superhero Deadpool. movies. There's like all, a whole a bunch of other kinds. Revenant. Yeah. I think those are all. We, we watched a pirated Revenant. Revenant came out this year. Yeah. No. No. But it was. It made the list. People were pirating it this year. Oh. It's on the top ten list. So Fuck, it could man. be anything. It could be Elf. Yeah, but nah, it's not. That's it not is. likely. Well, I'm in a like real pickle with this one because like it could be The Godfather. It could I be don't Casino. Think I don't think well, hey, right. you know what? Cape. Fear. Let's not lollygag. Let's just get to the list. All right. What do we got? What yeah, do we I just got? Do you want to? Do you guys want the whole ten? Um, let's go in five. order, let's please. Let's go ten to five first. Ten to five. Okay. Yeah, all right. Number ten, yes. the tenth most pirated movie of 2016. Yes, The Revenant. Nice. Why? Would you knew? Because it's a great movie. I'm, I'm looking at the list. I know oh, I all can't of them. Expect them to not know. I, I fucking cheap. wrote the list. I wrote it. You're a son. You're I never cheap told son you of a bitch. I was gonna guess. Oh my god. <laughs> Number nine. Keep going. going. Uh, one of Chase's favorite this year, Finding Dory. Wow. Yeah, I still need to watch that. I the the kids said it was amazing. That's a what's not the like? Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres. Right? Come on. Just keep swimming. That's it. 
Everybody, everybody knows Nemo, dude. Yeah. Number yeah. eight. I was surprised service. how low this one was on the list. Yeah. Uh, Suicide I, Squad. Wow. I was going to say that, obviously. <laughs> Number seven, Independence Day Resurgence. More people hired wow. in Independence, Independence Day, Day than, than Suicide but Squad. But I bet more people went out to see Suicide Squad. It's a good Squad. point, because I think one of the things about this list, uh, you'll you'll notice movies that were more popular, mm-hmm. not as high necessarily. Right. Because people were like, I'll spend money. I'll spend money to go see that. It's interesting. It's kind of a culling yeah. of the herd. The sixth most pirated movie was Warcraft. I was actually going to say that a minute ago because it's so fucking... Those nerds, too. <laughs> yeah, those kind of movies, yeah, Which they make you know, sense you know to what? pirate. That movie was actually good. I enjoyed I've heard it. Good it. things. Yeah. Huh. I mean, I, it was just a, it was a visual. It was a fantasy. They did a, They did great job. I love the fucking interdimensional you know what? shit. It was good. I'm going to watch fucking Warcraft Dude, it's, a, it's entertaining. And you got Jesse Custer, homeboy from uh, Preacher. He's right. like the king All and right. shit. How many people do you think were actually playing Warcraft while they were downloading the movie in the background? Uh, um, a lot. A lot, lots yeah. of a them. lot. I Tunnel. mean, and uh, you know what? I'm I'm we getting even more take into that further. More what into you, bundling. What snacks do you think they had going? Oh, Mountain Dew and Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. I'm more into bundling entertainment now. Like the like watching the Final Fantasy movie and and then playing the game was such an awesome experience. Like I'm digging that. Like, Doing it all together. Yeah. yeah, and really getting into the longer story of it. And Number just, five. The all right, fifth. Hit me. Most. Pirated uh, let me movie. guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. X Men Apocalypse. I was gonna say that. Which is isn't Apocalypse. it on? No, it's on Netflix. Civil War is on Netflix right now. Yep. Number four. Civil, Civil War. War. Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Damn it! Oh. You tricked us. <laughs> well, not really. Yeah, old Swingler. Star Wars. I think everybody paid money to see that movie and pirated and pirated it. the fuck out of the it the next year. Yeah. But they also, I think, did a really good job of. Ooh. Making it difficult to pirate for yeah, a long indeed. time, I and you pirated it. Remember, I had a a cam version which I didn't watch. Yeah. I downloaded it, but I never Same watched it. Here. And then I got a real one like a week before it became available, and mm-hmm. I bought and I the bought digital it. Yeah, download. So too. it's like fuck off, jam. Number I three, didn't I didn't buy it at all. You don't buy any. Captain America, Civil War. Yeah, Lord. which Number is three. on Netflix right now. Imagine if you got a letter or got kicked off your server for downloading Civil War, and then yesterday you fucking, oh, I'll see what on Netflix, and then fucking Civil War's on there. You fucking sons of bitches. I'd be so pissed. That's like people that are locked up right now for weed, weed. charges. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exact same thing. <laughs> Sold a dime bag. Like, I'm in jail. It. Just be like, yeah. motherfucker. Which, uh, now that it's on there, I do want to watch it again. I started it on Civil that War? crazy yeah. night. It's all right. Where we all stayed up till three in the morning, then went to work at six. Me and Abba, weird. It was like we're on the period oh, yeah, together. Yeah. Oh, you guys are cycling. We're cycling. <laughs> it's like we're cycling right now. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, Batman vs Superman: Dawn of a Justice. Number two. I wonder if that's affected by such bad reviews that people are like, "I would well, imagine I'll just download it." And I heard it, it sucks. Out. I'll just download yeah, it. Yeah. That's it. That's the world. Which we it live doesn't in. suck. I've no. watched it again a couple times. I like it. It's, it's a good I did movie. the same thing. I don't have any qualms with it, man. It was a good one. Like, it's only pr- the biggest I, problem is Eisenberg. And then I fucking, I also Fuck hate you. arguing with people about it. It's like, it's got a weird stigma now where when you bring up Batman versus Superman, you know that the person's going to be like, oh, that sucked. And then you're like, but why? I'm and so I don't even sick have of arguing with people about whether a movie sucks or not. No, it's like, Let's it's just all weird. move on, right? Fuck yeah. you. I went to the movie... I enjoyed myself. I was entertained. Is there problems? Yeah. So sure. That yeah. My life is good and I enjoy it. Yeah. That's Fuck coming it, off a of circuit know? training right there, buddy. <laughs> that was flowing right Nate, now. That's Nate, was good. Nate Lyles? Yeah. He hates Rogue One. But, you know, like, I, I get it. It sounds like it just wasn't good circumstances. And then right. it just wasn't a good experience. Yeah. He doesn't have particular things about the movie. Like, he's finding particulars. Maybe he has but, some kids know, and it, he has well, a fucking shut, $100 Not bill. to shut down his opinion. Like, that's totally fine. And I get it. And I'm fine with people having other opinions. And that's how it should be. It shouldn't even be an argument. Not be. every single tight. person so on the planet really like is going to okay. like the new Star Wars. Obviously. Obviously. No. But anybody who is honest would probably like it somewhat yeah. and not like that movie sucked. Like, really? It yeah. sucked? Why? Because your kids didn't like it because it wasn't funny? Right. Because you're a jaded asshole? Because you knew how it was going to end? I'm not saying that to the anybody that fucking doesn't like it. I am. Calling them out. All you fuck. <laughs> anybody that doesn't like Star Wars is not a friend of mine. No, sh- shout out to Nate Lyles, though. Yeah, he's uh, man, the he's homie cool, for sure. Bro, but... I'm not talking shit about Nate Lyles. <laughs> I'm saying in general. Who are you talking about the then? The whole world. <laughs> wow. If you're not a Star Wars fan, you're not my friend. 
Can you guys wow. guess the number one most pirated movie of 2016? God, sure can. Man, I, I think can't, about what we haven't named. I can't even. Sure think fucking of can. That uh, you ready? It's oh, had a, Deadpool. There you go. I was gonna say Titanic. Deadpool. <laughs> Titanic. God damn. Fucking it. number one download movie for 20 years. Deadpool. Running, yeah. Um, compared to some of these other movies. Uh, had a long time. It came out in February, mm -hmm. so it had all it's of time 2016. To rack it up. True enough. True. Yeah, but it also had a great premiere. Like people were loving that. People were made a lot of money. Up. Yeah, it was a good movie. It made like 800 it million movie. worldwide or something. It was a great. Uh, I watched great it departure. again the other day, and it, I and I had a good time. It's funny. I've seen it, it probably good, three or four times now. Mm -hmm. Ryan Reynolds is savage. He's good. What what <laughs> fucking sitcom was he in? Sitcom. He was in a sitcom. Yeah, he was. He was in a sitcom. Really? I think he was. I don't know. I just or am I thinking movie like, like that? He was Girl Van movie. Wilder. He was in Van, Van Wilder is the first thing. Before I, Van Wilder. Was he part of a, I don't know, uh, Freaks and Geeks or some no, shit like no. that? I don't know what I think he's Canadian. About. I could be wrong. What? Well, you he's love Canadian. Canadian. I feel like he is. I'm That's probably wrong. I think he's a badass. You know, another top uh, 10 list we're going to give you guys today, um, more importantly. The sizes of is our dicks. We compiled through a very complex algorithm, <laughs> our 10 favorite burger joints in Portland. From this whole experience, man, we've had a lot of burgers in Portland. We've hit, we've run the gamut. We've tried, I believe, 37 different yeah, burgers. Yeah, we haven't gone to every burger place, but we've went to a lot of them. And especially the ones that specialize in burgers. Like, we've hit those, you know. Well, you're playing taps? Is that how it goes? For, not the end. You've screwed up the end. But what are you playing taps for? That's like when somebody dies. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. What are you just saying? Yeah, yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. Maybe we'll find out. Uh, Top 10 burgers. We're going to give you those a little bit later in the show. But to the news. Um, the some sad news, oh, which man. I'm sure by now you all know. Yeah. Uh, this past week, we lost... Carrie Fisher. Rest in peace, Princess, Princess Leia. And then not to mention the day after. And then the day after her mom. mom just such a sad story. She couldn't live without her little princess. Sad. Yeah. No, I, it, and it was a weird. What's weird is that day. I don't get into the whole celebrity death things, but that day I just had like a malaise over me all day. It was weird. Like was a mayonnaise? Like a nice Was it malaise. the day she died or was it the day she had the heart attack? It was the day she died. Okay. Um, yeah, 27. the day that she had a heart attack, I panicked and then I saw that she was in condition. I was just like, I was like, oh, damn, that sucks. I feel like um, the heart yeah. attack happened like the day after Christmas or something. It was, uh, right it was like the day before Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Say. Yeah, it could be. Um, it was somewhere around because I'm pretty sure I was at my mama's still. Yeah. Yeah. But then that day, yeah, I just had a weird day, man. I was just kind so, of down. So uh, December 27th is my parents' anniversary. Congrats, uh, uh, Ken and Marie. 41 years strong this year. Dang. Um, wow. That's congratulations. That's something to be said. But I haven't, I haven't kept a relationship for fucking you know, six months. Four years ago, we lost – my mom lost her mom, my grandma, mm. on the day of their anniversary. Okay. Um, which is tough. Really. I mean, it was a very, very difficult time right. for uh, the whole family that and sucks. my mom. Uh, rest in peace. Sorry. Yeah. Rest in peace. No, no. But, uh, so I don't, you know, I don't really believe in coincidences necessarily. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Um, that's a day. That's an interesting day, perhaps. So to lose, uh, Carrie Fisher, mm -hmm. Princess Leia, on that same day. That's crazy. Um, and then for her to lose her mom the next – or, you know, for her mom to pass away the next day. Uh, and then looking at – now, this is where I'm going to get a little nerdy no, on no. you. Is this guy you believing in God in a little bit? <laughs> Don't talk to me about God. All right. <laughs> um, in Star Wars, yeah. when Princess Leia was born, her right. mom died Whoa. giving birth to her. Right. Yes. <sighs> Damn. Wow. So to me – I don't know. There's something to that. Yeah. There's something, you know, I don't know, whatever. And not to mention this right after there's this huge opening of, of a Star Wars movie and, and there's the – and it ends with that they, Leia and it's just – I went and saw – life, my friend. We went and saw Rogue One yeah. that day. Do you think the government killed her to – J.J. Abrams killed her to spike the Star Wars <laughs> sure sales? Do. Can I tell sure you do. Kathleen Kennedy? how much more emotional it was watching, watching that movie yeah. that day, the right. day she passed away? That end scene was yeah. That's kind of weird. spoiler alert. That end scene was so much more Emotional, powerful, yeah, moving yeah. 
having those feelings. You know what I mean? Um, Dude, I don't think that was a spoiler. You didn't say anything to ruin. You just said scene. You don't right. know what a spoiler. But everybody. But I think that was. One if you don't of those know moments. by now, then you don't care. If you don't so. know, now you know. True. You're probably not listening to this podcast if you don't know about Princess Leia. Ryan right. Reynolds' you know? sitcom was called Two Guys, Guys, A Girl, and a Pizza Place. That's it! 1998 to Told you! It sounds like what the title was that on? porn, though. I liked oh. that show. I did. Sounds terrible. It's an American sitcom. Sure fucking is. Would it last a season, two seasons? Well, it was three no. years. Hmm. Yeah. It's right a good show. The millennium. 1998, you said? Yep, 98 to 2001. Yeah, I was definitely not watching TV. And then I years. guess, was early 2000s <laughs> ones when we did Waiting? I definitely no, was. Waiting was later. That was, was mid like 2000s. Early 2000s. 2004, early 2000s. Four or five. Yeah, I was watching that show still hanging out at my cousin's at his was. parents' house. Rest you were a young piece. buck. I was young. Yeah. Pretty young. Yeah. Man, um, it's crazy. So, now yeah, that we're getting old, bro. that's happened, um, a lot of people are wondering well, what about episode eight and episode nine? What are they going to do? How yeah. are they going to handle? Dude, I got a theory. They have to have it already shot. So well, it's episode eight, done. it's wrapped. It's right? done. Yeah. What if they, when uh, Fast and Furious Seven after Walker died, and uh, they give her a nice little thing, you know, a little, little send off well, in the movie? Yeah, now here's my and my roll credits. Carrie Fisher. Well, it'll say Carrie it'll Fisher. for sure say for Carrie. It'll say Carrie. It'll say yeah. Kenny Baker who yeah. uh, played R2. was part of R two. Yeah, he passed away this year, so the, I'm sure they'll dedicate, dude. The movie probably to both in of them. our lifetime, the whole original cast of Star Wars will die. Probably, yeah. I mean, that, in our yeah, lifetime, makes sense. Very likely, unless uh, we die. We die young before them. You know, Harrison yeah. Ford lives to be uh, forever. But yeah, so maybe he will. I, from what I've read and what I understand, I'm pretty sure that Princess Leia, General Organa, that's her code name. <laughs> No, that's, that's her, name. her real name. <laughs> um, that she was probably going to die in episode eight anyway. Well, they, yeah, I mean, they had to not be expecting her to die in real life, but be like, we got to close out this character right. story. That's what. That's kind of what I, where I think they were at with the arc. I think they are with this trilogy. It's like time to close out that news story. If they follow, yeah, that yeah. if they follow the original, the way it went with the original trilogy, um, the second movie is the dark one. Right. The second movie is when. The Empire, or now the First Order, strikes back for you know whatever. That's what they called it. Right. They, you just took out our Star Killer base, but now we're so back. So it's we're likely stronger. that Episode Eight is going to end on a sad, some fucking note. tragedy. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I mean, I didn't even think about that because I have never really processed Star Wars ever until I like watched Rogue One, and then it made me like realize like, oh, I get what's going on, like. They had this thing and it destroyed planets and they're trying to fucking get them the plans to fucking destroy that thing. So that they can't destroy planets. See, I never knew that. And like, uh, <laughs> so, dude, I literally, you know, I've talked about this a lot lately, but yeah. like TBS has been playing Star Wars like crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. And I've been watching them. And <laughs> I fucked, and Star after, Wars. after we went and watched Rogue One, TBS was playing all back to back. I watched New Hope. Into and fucking just, just strike back it, into it. fucking Return of the Jets. Wow, and he named them all. Yeah. Your Star Wars IQ You're is growing, man. I really feel jumped. Like I feel like I understand it a little bit. Like I can hang a tiny bit. Well, the, I can't talk about it. The yet, story makes more sense, but it's to making you now. sense the, in my brain. The plot, the reasons why they were doing these things, make more sense to you now. Yeah, it's not just a weird space movie. Rogue One filled it all in for me. And and here's the deal. I was too young, and I didn't watch Star Wars as a kid. When the new ones came out, it was just cool to go to, like Titanic. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the second Titanic bring up. I'm, I'm going three or four. It's not going to be Saturday. the last one. <laughs> but, uh, Find a way to put it in. <laughs> I will work in some Jack magic. Oh, Rose. Um, so, I just watched Titanic recently, if you can't tell them. There's three. Booyah! <laughs> <laughs> Can I get super nerdy yeah, for a second? Do it, Please, man. like eat it. What okay. is this about? Star Wars? Like, this calm is, your nerd all over me. This is <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> um, I read an article yesterday. Nerd. I can't remember where it was. So I can't name any sources, but who cares? Um, about Kylo Ren, mm -hmm. and everybody calls him Ben Solo, right? Because we found out his real name is Ben, and he's the son of Han Solo, so they assume bo, 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 his bo. name is Ben Solo, but. Kylo Ren's a bad guy, right? Yeah. But yeah. this article... You got it. Thanks. Nailed it. All right. Uh, ...presents the idea that 
maybe his n- name isn't Ben Solo. Maybe we got the last name wrong. Hmm. Maybe he's a Vader. Leia's, doing this Leia's last name is Organa. Right. Her father, Bail Organa, yes. is from Alderaan. Right. Now, in on Alderaan... Not her real father, though. No, but that's the name yeah, she took. Totally. But, so it's like stepdaddy. Jimmy Smith. Yeah, they are, she's adopted. Jimmy okay. Smith. Um, I don't see. I like it more. My brother's. Adopted. But here, listen. Here's where it gets. Here's where it gets. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Where things might change a little bit. In all on Alderaan, uh, the leader is a queen, a woman, fashion not unlike forward. Naboo. Right. Fashion. Fashion forward, forward woman. So they're Male. proposing the idea that on Alderaan, the man takes the woman's last name when they marry. Right. So there's a mention in I think Revenge of the Sith. Of and in in a new hope, uh, C three PO says Captain Antilles, uh-huh. and uh, in, in Revenge okay. of the Sith they say Bail Antilles. Right, that's the Whoa. only time that name is ever mentioned. <sighs> There's no explanation for who Bail Antilles is. Um, so what this guy's talking about is what if Bail Antilles is Bail Organa? He becomes Bail Organa after he marries the Queen of Alderaan. Princess right. Leia. So, so Kylo. And- so Leia. Having a kid, right? And being the the royal line from Alderaan, it would maybe be Ben Organa. Ben takes Leia's last name. Yeah. Okay. Does that doesn't really affect anything, right? You know, I don't think so. But it has been mentioned. I believe it was Pablo but Hidalgo. But it makes him part of a royal bloodline. Who which said is either way? But somebody mentioned that maybe that's why he's such a kick ass. Somebody involved in the movie. I don't know if it was Pablo Hidalgo or one of the other higher ups at, at Lucasfilm, but they said. We never told you Ben's last name. People assume it's Ben Solo, but we didn't say that's what his his last name was. Mm. Has anybody got any more clues as to Ray though? Because I still kind of like the idea of her maybe also well, being. Well, the most recent stuff I've heard is Daisy Ridley herself says, "We told you who Ray's parents are in the movie, or at least where she comes from," and that people are uh-huh. looking past it because it's too obvious. Mm. Which to me points to her being Luke's daughter. Right. She said, I can't believe people are haven't figured it out because we blatantly told and you. Well, they showed it. him her running up the mountain to him. Right. And the, the lightsaber the called to her. It's got to be him. Then. That's it, right? What's on so like, like people are making a big mystery out of something that, that is right was there. presented to It's him. like yeah. the Trump election. What? I don't know. <laughs> but that could be to throw Trump us in. off, too. Maybe she's not, you know, maybe that was all. Maybe know, she's right, a fucking, right. just a, I don't know, maybe her mom was like fucking whore or some shit. And she's just a, you know, she, she's just a rug rat. She just came through the one. trenches, you know, she defeated all odds. Dad was a crackhead and fucking mom was a, a dancer or some shit. Daddy fucking didn't could come be. home. Could be. Who knows? I mean, it could be anything. I've never thought about these things. I didn't realize that all these people would have all a whole life story, but I guess that's right. You're creating fiction. It's a life. <laughs> yeah. And I never thought about it that way. I'm like all about I don't know. Just, You're just a momentary guy. I'm a moment I'm in the moment. Yeah. No, that's the amazing thing about Star Wars and the expanded universe is how it chronicles all this shit, all these people's lives. There's a lot of man. stuff to remember and care there's about. Fucking, you know, yeah. I don't think I got the time or it's the energy. A, but it's a better world. I don't know. I think I've, I'm at a perfect spot with like Star Wars and all that shit. I can appreciate it, but I can I, – I see it and I leave it. I would you know never I mean? expect you to I don't delve have to buy like, like I do. toys or comics. Or right. I don't have to do all these no, crazy the things. Are, are, yeah. I can experience it. I can like ask you guys a little bit of questions. Hey, what is that? Who's that? Okay, I, I get that. He's Uncle Steve to Charlie Chucklin. You know, Charlie whatever. Charlie Chucklin? Fucking. That was the first. And Co- then you're out. couple more quick Star Wars hits and then we'll move on to other things. Yeah, okay. um, But I pre- – I oh, real quick – I appreciate that you guys have brought Star Wars into my life. Aww. Because that's the greatest Star- gift we could give. You. Star Wars and burgers were never high up on my list. <laughs> and we're we're a list type of guys. Mission you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh I'm a bur- I'm going to say the Triple B podcast has made me appreciate the burger. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you and and Star are, you, Wars. are you a burger guy now? <sighs> You know what? I'm just going to come out and say it. it's the last podcast of the year, and burgers may or may not be in my near future. Um, I'm, I'm a burger guy. Hell I'm, yeah, I'm, man. I'm, 
Mission accomplished, dude. Thank you, guys. We can but... end the cast. You know what's funny? I'm burger guy. I just thought about this. You mentioned this is the last podcast of the year. I know. It is. But it's also the first podcast of the year. It is. It's both of those Holy things shit. at the same time. It's like fucking New Mexico meets Utah meets fucking Arizona. Oh, yeah. The four, four corners. corners. We're like four cornering right now. <laughs> you know? We're touching tips. It's uh, We're yeah. touching tips between 2016 and 17. Boop! We're, we're, gonna... we're the bridge. We're yes, the... it's true. We're bridging the years. Oh, and we're here boys. to bring you. Let's light up a joint in here. Speaking of bridging, Ed- Ezra Bridger. Yeah. From Ooh, a nice, Star Wars Rebels. Nice segue, right, bro. Right. I nice wanted to talk segue. about real quick, because um, the episode of Rebels airs tonight. Yeah. With Saw Gerrera in it. Set your DVRs. Ah, with nice. actually with Forrest Whitaker doing the voice. Wait, it airs tonight? Yeah. B- 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 what? On Disney XD. I what? Believe. I'm Does pretty sure. Does that PlayStation View get the oh, XD? Absolutely. Bro. Do we get the XD no, on the new? No, we don't. <sighs> That's why Zeb kind of is thinking about upgrading the package. It's XD. It's one of the reasons. We also don't get Cooking Channel. It's true. <sighs> um, it's true. We upgraded to... And I don't Cent- get my vice. CenturyLink Prism. We went to the Prism. I gotta get on that. Man. Fiber optics. We're in the future. We officially have fiber optic internet. I gotta get on that, man. It's fucking game changer. My, pretty cool. My internet is piece of sh- fucking garbage. Dude, we tried to watch... Spoiler alert. Ronda Rousey got her fucking face caved in. Yeah. Boom. Um... But we tried to re rewatch it. I can't and the talk. The internet was just the connection was so Bro, fucked. This is a forty eight second fight. We could not get through a second. Oh, it was, <laughs> and mine does that where sometimes it'll be going fine, and then all of a sudden it's just fucking. It's nothing. the bandwidth. It's there's a lot of people using the same. I think, like Abba was saying, I think it's stuff. the lead ba- based paint. It man. could be the lead paint in my apartment, which is fucking driving me insane. It's the lead based tap water. Yeah, it lets be it. everything. Could be it. But uh the yeah, lead. man, fucking so we watched the fights, UFC two oh seven last we, night. We broke the fuck out last night, um, like high school sleepover status. Tell me about it. I want to hear about your guys' night. It was tight, man. There was uh there was a few really good fights. Um like Chase already spoiled Ronda Rousey, the final fight, just boom. Yeah. And it it was kinda like Called it, it had too. to happen. Chase did call it, called so it. she's just gonna get smashed. I was hoping she won it. I want it to be a good fight. You but, want a roof for But her. I was still happy with that fucking just quick cleanup. She came in, threw a few swings, missed them. Nunez just got her. Wow, 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 wow. It was, it was like, like video game status. Like consecutive maybe 12 punches. 12, 10 15, to 12 punches. Bombs. That just fucking, yeah, they just rocked her world. <laughs> she had no idea what was going on. Only time this is socially acceptable like, to say, she was on Queer Street, boys. <laughs> It's a, it's a fighting term. What does it mean? It means like you're wobbly. Oh, yeah. Stars. Yeah. She was seeing stars. That's what they use. They use it. So I was God. okay with it being such a short fight because the fight before it was actually really good with uh, Garbrandt. Oh, he's on and Queer Street. Cruz. I swear to God. That was a hell of a good one, too. The fight before Dominic Cruz was just bleeding, taking on Cody Garbrandt. <laughs> yeah. And Dude, then, uh, that kid, Cody Garbrandt or whatever the fuck, neck tattoo. Kind of, kind of makes like you go, it. "Hey, douchebag mountain." I don't like it. But fuck that guy can fight. <sighs> Never got, dude. Five, five round fight. You know, he was three dancing. He was, it was like, like he, he was fucking tag him, him like, up and then do a little dance and shit. It was, he would be uh, like, "Yeah, dude." He he did a burpee at one point. <laughs> like he did an up down. Like that, he was just fucking. And he it was a title fight. He yeah, won the he title. Smashed it. It's crazy, actually. All it was the pretty way, epic. like I said last night was a lot of one sided, but there were still some good fights like that one and then. The Dillashaw Liminick was his name yeah. or something like that. But little dude. Little Dillashaw dude. used to be the champ. And uh, yeah, Dillashaw fucking rocked him. So Animal. It was a good fight, man. It's yeah. inspiring. I like the UFC. Me it's too. fun. You know, like, you as know a what? casual, like, I don't need to know, like, you, you can just dive, watch, watch fights and right. enjoy it. You can yeah. dive into it like football, baseball, and all that shit. There's obviously stats and And, and it doesn't skills, even matter if they're title fights or anything. Even just the regular matches are fun to there's watch. There's something that brings that out. Like, you yell at the TV, you eat some food, you it hang out. It's me, a thing. It's, it's just, fun. It's interesting. You know what weirds at. me out about uh, MMA huh. yeah. fighting? What? One Brain thing trauma. that I'll never understand is just beating the shit out of people. Because you're sweet. <laughs> like, I just don't get it. <laughs> right. That's weird to me. Yeah. But the feet... 
What about the feet? I, I don't know. It's weird. They're, good, they got, they're barefoot and they're kicking each other and stuff. <laughs> Zeb is a shoe. That's weird. Put on guy. your damn shoes. Like, See? Uh, you're because... kicking a guy in the face with your bare foot. Yeah. That yeah. weirds me out. That's you know, not weird. I mean, it would be dangerous if they had shoes on. because they really kill each other with shoes, out. dude. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying they should wear shoes. I'm just saying it weirds <laughs> me out that they kick each other in the face with their bare feet. That is hilarious. It's, uh, you know, I Clearly mean, not a foot guy. It's an ancient art form. We've been watching people get in the ring and battle it out for fucking millennia. Yeah, dude. Forever. You know, it's just primal. Just some some will argue each other. Yeah. it's probably ingrained in our D- I, DNA to yeah, like it. I was Absolutely. at the Coliseum you know? this past summer. Yeah. That's the fucking, hard That it, is man. so cool. They had people go. fighting each other, they fighting people animals. Fighting lions. Yeah. Lions just go and just crowds. <sighs> Think about Super how many ball. fucking people died. Think right about there. if we went to the stadium tonight and we just watched like 37 people die. I mean, right. I think that's going to be the future of entertainment at it some gets, point. It, it's it, got to it go back, to back there. It's got to go running. Full circle. Man. That's it's, crazy. It, like it, running. Four man, corners. Bro. Yeah. Four corners. Four corners. Like, think about if we did. I mean, we probably wouldn't see it in our lifetime, but at some point, did nothing excited us to the point where Remember we just the, kill each other again for the, sport? There was the video game Smash TV that was like that, where you had to go through this fucking, you know, you were on TV. Right. There's been forms out. of it, obviously, forever. I mean, it's predictive. Predictive. You could even say Double Dare was a form of fucking gladiatorism or whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, but I'm saying know. that eventually it's going to get there of just straight murder. It you could. know who? You know Absolutely. who predicted that about uh? I want to say 10 years ago, 13 years ago, Weird Al did a <laughs> fucking the Oracle. He did a parody of Eminem's Lose Yourself. Right. And it was about watching oh, yeah. TV. Yeah, I remember that. Um, but the one of his lines was Next week on Fox, watch Lions Eat Christians. <laughs> See, I'd watch that. Yeah, yeah I'd be trying, I bet man. you would. I'd tune in, man. And that's the I'd fucked up corn. thing, though, is though that obviously, like, that's such a taboo thing of like, ah, oh, nobody wants to see that, and that's wrong and shit, but it would kill it, it would in kill. the ratings. What if they, like, didn't show the whole actual death? It was like, you know the guy's like getting eaten by out. a lion, but they kind of, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, like when the chopper sees tasteful. a guy getting yeah. shot by cops, he zooms out. I know he's out. dying, yeah. but I he can't tasteful. see it. So it. it's fun. I mean, uh, they're warming us up. Look at all the fucking murder porn that we watched this last year. Did or two. I? Everybody did. All the people getting shot that the videos were being posted. Oh on. yeah, like that's just it, man. See, I was I, weird I, jerking off and like watching that. <laughs> yeah. That is weird. Yeah, I'm more of an Animal Kingdom guy when it comes to reality fighting. Or, or I'm like uh, more of like the, dude, the on male Netflix, iguana, Animal yeah. Fight Night, bro. <laughs> so good. They just go through different animals fighting. I each love other. animal shows. Yeah, animals are badass. They are yeah. pretty cool. I um. Can, can we go to shows real quick? Do you think animals no, ever go? No. Uh, well, let me talk about. No. It. Maybe I shouldn't kill that other animal. Oh, absolutely. Maybe it'd be bad yeah. if I did that. The they bees, don't think that. Bees they don't, are a big one. They don't like, have that I'm thought. I'm not going to go to heaven if I fucking eat this thing. <laughs> if I murder this other gonna... rodent, I'm going not to heaven. Yeah, I'm, I'm surviving. Heaven. I'm gonna. I'm I gonna, gotta eat. I gotta eat. Dude, um. Uh, yeah. Let's let's go ahead well, and do that. Let's, I just want to talk, talk about these shows because it's the end of the year. Like Netflix just dumped a bunch of originals. Basically, it seems like there's stuff that wasn't top notch. A lot. Um, there's, so I, yeah. There's a bunch of them. I've been going through like the the three percent, fucking eight cents, or since eight. Since eight. Um, Ao. I tried watching oh, this one, The Magicians. Oh my god, it was the worst thing ever. Really? But I don't know if you like Harry Potter, like you might like it because it's kind of yeah. like a Harry Potter in college, but it's like. Is it it's, goofy or is it serious? It sucks. Um, it's it's serious, but there's some funny parts serious too. Black. Um, I mean, I can see some people really enjoying it. Like the thing is, I actually got pretty deep in it because it was like the graphics and the story were interesting enough to keep me going. But eventually, it's just too fucking like CW teen drama almost. One um, Tree Hill. Yeah, it was just a little too much. That I, I just caught myself like, what am I doing? You know, yeah, <laughs> I could be playing fucking Battlefield right exactly. now. Exactly, um, but I did watch and finish the OA. You saw the whole thing. Watched the whole thing Man. front to back. Um, I turned it on for thirty seconds. Turned it off. It was pretty good. You were like, nope, not it was in, pretty good. Not it's it. not something that Chase would like. For like, I kind of believe that. For like, sure. there's no whoopies. I'm, I'm okay with you saying that because no, I don't no. think I. I, don't I, think I, I do like it. It's about this lady. And fucking basically she shows up and she's like a younger girl, probably mid twenties or something, but she was a blind girl that was kidding that just disappeared seven years ago, shows back and she can see. 
Okay. And she's like not fucking telling anybody what really But she's happened. aware of but like she used to be a blind girl. Oh yeah. And this <laughs> <You're> tired of- <laughs> Sorry. Why would she Sorry. not be aware that she used to be a blind girl? What if she just got reincarnated and forgot? Okay. Or a memory wipe. Well, have, yeah. You know okay. what I mean? Okay, fair enough. Like I am a real doc. So but like know. the FBI is trying to prod her for information and shit and she doesn't tell anybody. She gets together this random group of like teenagers and stuff and sits them down and tells her her story. And it's fucking, there's enough twists and enough mystery that it does keep you interested. And then it ends on even more of a mind blowing note. And it was one of those where at the end you got to go and like read a bunch of fucking conspiracies about and theories about what it all meant, which I, I love that shit. I love when you can delve deeper and still ask yourself questions about yeah. the show. You um, are. So it was good. Um, oh, Instagram story. Sorry. Why are you Instagramming? God damn it. But uh, that one, the that. OA, you could find. Uh, I can see people enjoying that. It wasn't for the sh- new shows that Netflix has been pumping out there. It's pretty good. I don't know. I want to watch it. I yeah. you'd probably dig it, man, dude. And it's all about. I, I don't want to drop any spoilers at all, but it's it's on some higher level shit. I see some metaphysics. Is it woke? Black woke Mass, dude. Uh, we I put it on the other day. Black like, Mass, the movie. Yeah, Johnny Depp. No, no. Black Mirror. Black, Black Mirror. Mirror. Yeah, I always miss Every that. Time. Black Every Mirror time. is probably my top oh, show of 2016, dude, bro. I, uh, I've obviously seen – no spoilers. I've you seen the pig the, episode. You saw the first one and then you gave up. I, uh, but I you didn't know, I didn't know what to expect. Right. It's a fucking mind fuck of a show. Every it's episode. It's heavy. Every I put episode. it on and the vibe and the – Zeb and David were in there and uh, the vibe was just like – they were both like dudes – can we put something else on? Like, <laughs> well, I just I went into I had no context, right. but there isn't. Show. It's no, but I mean I didn't watch. I didn't see it from the beginning. beginning. I just you have walked into the middle the of an episode. But it's like heavy. Oh, it's yeah. intense. Yeah, it's great, man. I, I did the I did the VR one. That's a good episode on se- like, season three. Yeah, that was Would you say it's episode. Twilight Zone ish? No, it's dark. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you even know what Twilight Zone is? I've never seen it. It's and a kid show, though, no, right? No, it's no, not, a, it's kid not a kid show. Really? Yeah, that's why I said I always say it's like Twilight Zone. Huh. It's an anthology of sci-fi fucking stories. Every episode's a Every story, episode's and it's some weird, creepy one. shit. Exactly. But this one, instead of like Twilight Zone, had a lot more like monsters and weird, like paranormal, yeah, yeah, and aliens, and like time loops and shit. Yeah. This one is all based on future technology. These are all things that absolutely can happen. Totally. Not like, actually. not far away, either. No, not at all. The VR one, the way... Because it was, like, recording consciousness or, like, being able to record your conscience. Dude, there's this one. Consciousness. I love this one <laughs> it's episode. A hard word to say. I think it's called Roach. You should check out the episode of Roach because... And, I mean... the. These dudes are going through their like military personnel and there's this zombie outbreak and they call them roaches and shit and they're killing them. But and I'll fucking spoiler this. So if you don't want to skip ahead 10 seconds, they basically like uh, they have like cyber optics. So they're seeing stuff. Their brain is like has a computer in it, basically. And then his glitches out and he realizes that these are like refugees. But the military yeah, software in their crazy. brain has tricked – makes them see them as these fucking – Zombies they got to kill. That's exactly. okay to kill. So then it but it's totally out. not. It's like You're just slaughtering girl. black it's people. It's like Muslims. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's fucked up. And that was yeah. super interesting because they were talking about that's always the problem with war is that like, yeah, we can do it. But nobody can ever really finish the job. Like it's always hesitation. It's gonna, there's always – yeah. There's really always interesting. Like but a, every episode is on some definite like uh, you know culture commentary – uh, interesting shit. Has America been to war since 9 11? We've been in. Or were we a war do before? Do you know how many too? wars we've been in? It's like I don't the, know, but a lot. It's we've in like been the 200s. at war since like the beginning. Has it, as a country started, have we ever not been at war? Like a time of peace. There has been, I think, very roughly early. Like, not modern, not modern. Because even look at between World War One and World War Two, it was like we called peace I, then. That's that why was I want to be the Canadian boys. Time. That was the last. They just time. don't get involved. Ever since. We discovered that we could go to other parts of the world and fuck them up. And use the We've been doing it. Well, we've been right. doing it here. I mean, the entire establishment, there was the Indian Wars was like a hundred right. That's how we like were founded and that's yeah. ingrained in our American DNA. Yeah. Genocide, there's, slavery. That's, and there's those all are the things of, this country uh, built There's on. all kind right. of some shit about that too because it was like we were founded in like around April and stuff and that is like – there's a weird thing with that day in history as far as like violence. 420. Fair enough. Yeah, 420. 420 is Hitler's tired, birthday. Fucking, yeah, a lot of slaughters and shit have gone down on that day. Mm-hmm. 
It's right. interesting. Yeah, who knows? But I mean, it is kind of crazy to think that we're always like there's I mean, there's not like a fear that we're going to like be nuked right now or some crazy shit, but I mean, we're getting the, back to that the possibility the whole, the fear of, of nuclear war. There's always been a fear too. like but like think about it, like as a country we, like we've been constantly sending our young men and women to go fight some crazy bullshit like constantly. Right. Sure. There's a there's a percentage of Americans that are proud and like and it's ingrained in them. And that's okay, I think. And it you know, whatever. Like we need servicemen and ladies and and God bless them all and shit, but imagine like coming from like a heavy military family and having that kind of pressure or stress. Imagine feeling oh, yeah. pressured to join the military. Oh yeah, fight for your That's country. a crazy thought fight to me. Did you ever talk to you know? recruiters? Yeah, uh, I did. they came to my high school. Yeah, did you? They came, did you I never talked talk to them. Fuck no. I actually talked. I got pretty close, man. Did you? Yeah, I, I did. could see that when I was working. Uh, I was working at Borders, and this one dude that was a recruiter would come in and talk to me and for like, a while. Dude, and they're I went, sly, went to man. The office and checked it out and shit. But I did. I like realized like I, I'm not gonna get in on some technical shit. I would definitely be a fucking soldier. Yeah, I, I sat down with a guy. Um, as, I was a senior in high school, I believe. Um, and he really tried to sell me on. Oh, they want the you military. to join bad, and man. Yeah. Because the whole time I was like, it's of not, course they it's do. Not happening. That's their job. I'm not joining the military. Yeah. I'm not. I've never talked to them. Like, they would be a, in our cafeteria and there would be like a table set up. <sighs> you know me. I'm not going out of my way to talk to some fucker. Yeah. This guy oh, called. This guy called me. I'm eating my fucking uh, candy daily oh, yeah. for like a week. Oh week yeah. And a half. After I met up with that dude, he was like constantly On you. following up. It was just like, dude, you want to go yeah. die for your country, boy? You love it. You love was it, it like? It wasn't like that. Was no, it was just all the no, opportunity. They, to you they throw not. money in your fucking well, face they throw hard. Money and they that try thirty thousand dollars sign on bonus. How are you going to pay for college? And they're constantly right. like, man, right. nobody dies over there. Like the dude was fucking shady like that. And he also, what I thought was crazy, he gave me. He's like, you like video games? I'm like, yeah. And he gave me this like U.S. Army sponsored shooter game. I remember that say. game. Yeah. I played that oh, game. It's like, so it's like trying to be like, yeah, this is what it'll be like. Was it was pretty fun. tight. Was PlayStation game? You start at like a, a game you start at the PC. range. I think you remember so. that. And you, uh, yeah. you shoot targets and yeah. like, yeah, I played that game. It was fun. I liked it. <laughs> I almost was like, fuck, this is pretty fun. That's as far as I'm going. I know I can't do a pull up. I know I struggle to run a mile. And but I, I know I and I know I hate fuckers yelling at me or telling me what to do. <laughs> so I know right away you're not gonna I'm make it. I'm 13 at this point. I quit basketball. 13. I I like playing drums and I like <laughs> loud. To the I know at 13 years old I'm not cut out for the military. Yeah. I'm not. I, I wouldn't even make it through boot camp. No, for, I'm not to, cut out bro, for it. In elementary school, I had this friend not Raymond me. Newman, and we would fucking play military. We would like. I did that at shit recess, too. We would meet up and just do hella push ups and run around. We just shit, pretend like, to kill oh, people. Oh, uh, we play oh. guns. You know what I mean? Of course. And yeah. like, we're from the generation that could play guns. Yeah. Without and like, we afraid of actually I'm getting, getting shot. shot I had a lot of friends cop. do it. Like, I had a lot of friends that graduated from my high school class that went to fucking Iraq. Multiple fucking times. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It's like, fucking, I have yeah. a buddy who no, got blown up and has, is, you know. Two of my best of, friends growing up are like still in the military now. Yeah, like, man. Moving up the I recorded a guy yesterday who's in the it. Navy. He's yeah. in it's town a for, the, thing. for the holidays. And it's great. Like, no. It's, but it's good. It, it like, is, for it, some people, yeah. like, especially like people that really maybe are like lost and then it gives them that structure and changes well, their I life. There's all kinds of circumstances. But there's all kinds of circumstances. Some people are cut out for it. Some people aren't. Absolutely. Some people think they're not find out they are right you know i mean fuck i think that if there was a world war, imagine having I'm, that military kind of swagger or like confidence though i'm oh, signing no. up you know well is the it, thing is, is man i was thinking about <laughs> yeah, the world fucked. war if fucking there was a huge draft like i'm still not safe at my age i would still get drafted. well here's I'm the thing off a leg if if the if a war ever got that bad for us nobody's safe like I mean, you no. either you yeah. you get to a point where you have to fight you have to or you don't. Right, right, absolutely, right. absolutely. Well, here's my scenario, boys. I'm, I'm gonna get dark on you right now. Uh oh, shit, it's hitting the streets, right? You better grab a gun. What do you do? You fight or you just shoot yourself? Because <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going out, dude. I'm not dealing. With I don't it. know yeah, that I'd bullshit. shoot myself. Yeah, if, I'd probably try to survive in some. I'm going capacity. coward mode. Hide. I'm going oh, coward no. mode. Like, say if like there's a fucking flood of zombies coming towards me. Kaboom. Well, a flood of zombies. Or like, say, a flood of Ruskies. 
Rations for you lamers? If your options are kill yourself or get your throat eaten. Eaten a lot. Yeah, are you sure. Going, are you buying a bullet? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's a... It's a it scenario that you shouldn't ever have to think if about. There is yeah, absolutely no I think about other these way out. If there is absolutely Sox, no other start. way out, then perhaps. But I don't you go know. out like Saw like I'm that going it's... out like Hunter Thompson. You rip out yeah. your breathing tube and just stand style, yeah, dude. Adrenaline style, bro. Just fucking instant. Swing into the end. I don't want to suffer when I die. Oh, That's a... What, you think you're going to have a pleasant death? No, I'm just saying a single <laughs> shot. Just, wanna... just do it real quick. Borg it. You do your... Well, Man, was your soccer era. Bukali, Bukashi, <laughs> Borgala. Did you come here to kill me? That's there's, pretty good. There's not much of me left. Whoa, dude. Bukashi, I, a Bukashi. <laughs> That's think, a voice I could do. I think you like found that. it. Like, yeah, what, what, what would be like a good voice I have? <laughs> like, uh, I can do a Louis, dude. Arms. I can't do it right now because I'm nervous, but. <laughs> It's fucking hard, man. Uh, back to the fucking. Um, back to the. You know who likes game. to do voices though? Max Graves. He can do some. Good he, ones. he likes to chuckle. Graves like, does a pretty good. Uh, <laughs> chuckle. Christopher Walken. Oh, great, Christopher Walken. He's he get, he gets in like a. You know, that's why I think like a party situation and and that thing because it's like when you're partying with Graves, that always at some point like Watkins is coming out or something. Watkins. <laughs> you know what I mean? Christopher Watkins. That's what he calls him. Yeah, Watkins. And like. Uh, it's just funny. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I miss Max Graves. I love that guy. Max Graves. Well, shout out to Max, Max Graves. Graves shout out to sweetheart. everyone. Everybody. I love you. Chase, have you uh, You got an iPhone, right? Sure do, and I'm proud and loud. Have you played that uh, Super Mario run? Sure haven't. I wish I have. <laughs> End of story. I've are, seen you, Mario are you run. considering it? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to get it. Is it like it. a I'm temple gonna run or something? No, it's the... F- it's like a real I keep, Mario game. I keep really? seeing it. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a little different. But it's different. a scroller, right? It's simpler. It's a scroller. Yeah, I mean, why not? And he just it, runs, but it's right? it's like an old school Mario game? Yeah, something? he runs constantly. And you gotta though. jump over and shit. And he jumps on right. stuff. Okay. I don't think you can really die. So it's kind of like Temple Run or Well, I've been seeing Mario's. a lot of it, like on the iTunes store. And I... It's I, big. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll get it. It actually costs $10. Man, I am... Oh, does it? Like, I think you play the first level for free and then okay, you have that's, to buy it. Okay, that's why I have I am in it. the market for a good mobile game now that I Is got it only on iTunes? Phone. Right now, it's only on iPhone. Yeah, that's right. It They're is, saying it'll be available for Android, but there's no dates or anything. That's goddamn right. iPhones are the shit. All right? Yeah. I just fucking made the switch from Spotify to iTunes, and I'm a happy camper right now. <laughs> I got a new screen in the mail. I'm open... Dudes, I'm going into the new year fucking uh, iPhone loud and proud. <laughs> okay, well, good. <laughs> wow. Um, fuck your Androids. What about the, the – did you get an S Classic? Uh, No, I didn't. Did you nah, get an S Classic? I'm, I'm going to. I was though. talking to somebody that had one the other did day. Did I get though. an S Classic? No. Nope. No. None Sucks. of us did. Interesting. I thought about it. I want to. I'm just trying They're to fucking... impossible to get. I, I keep I know people slacking that got on it, but I want to dial in my ROM situation this year and get a good setup. Because then with that, too, it would be fun to Twitch old games. Yeah. Get a nice ROM setup and shit. Would I mean, you Twitch uh, a ROM setup from a computer? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So the uh, the the AVS, Retro USB uh, yeah. Nintendo machine that right. they made, um, they sold out ah. at 185 bucks a pop. Wow. Ah. They're um, and now they're doing a pre-sale. Mm-hmm. You can killing. pre-order, but they're selling them for 170 bucks. A little bit of a sale. Oh, okay. Right. That's the one that plays like five different consoles? No, it no, just plays restaurant. NES games and the uh, Famicom. Oh, okay. But nobody has Famicom games. Right, right. But it has USB and four controllers. It has options. HDMI. Right. It yeah. has, does the upscaling. So your right. video games. You think you're going to do it? I really want to. Yeah. but I just want to fucking what play What about that pie cart, man? I mean, that's a thing. It's a hundred bucks on Etsy. What is mm. it? That thing I was talking about, where the fucking people gutted an NES cartridge and put in the software so that you're running a ROM off of your off. So of you can buy these. You, you can buy these kits where you basically build an NES, an NES, or it could be anything. Or you they can play re, any ROMs. they pre make them and you can. Get hmm. them. Yeah. But you and you just, just shove it into the original machine. No, no, it doesn't go. In, it is the machine. It's just the, machine. the cartridge is the machine. It so it looks just like a, a old cartridge. school cartridge game. Yeah. Well, the ones that you yeah. make in the cartridge do, yeah. Right. But you can make them. But how do you hook anything. it up to your TV? It has HDMI. HDMI. So it's just a cartridge with plugs in it. Yeah, yeah, basically. And it's only this big. Yeah. 
And you just buy that. So you unplug it and you can just, just put it in the cartridge. It's not that fun, seat. man. I want a console. I want some things. <laughs> I want some, you know, put it on the shelf. Look at it. I, mean, I can person, see that. I have too many things on shelves. In you my do. Life. I saw it. I, I mean, I know we my talked about it a little bit. Strong. I didn't explain my side of fucking sleepover at Abba's. <laughs> you didn't. Um, the boy's got some problems. <laughs> got a good collection going? Yeah. He might need to do a dumpster run. Nah, no dumpster run. A clutter Bigger run. Place. Bigger place. Man, you've uh, now nah, it was fun. I had, I felt like uh, I was going over to Josh's house. You know, we're hanging out. We're big, Josh? We gamed up. We ate some. Food. Josh Martinez. Nah, he's a childhood oh, friend. He's like a buddy Josh. named buddy Josh. Josh. Buddy yeah. friend. Yeah. Going over, I'm going to Josh's. Going to Josh's, Josh's tonight, ma. You know, and he had a cool like setup. Because Brandon. He had yeah. He had like a crick in his backyard, so we go fucking. Oh, oh we go a crick. You know, it's creek. man, I'm a crick guy. I'm a creek guy. He's definitely but, uh, a crick guy. It's too easy. Yeah, but we would go to the creek and like do all that shit and uh, you know play and then dude we played but like Sim City was a big one Love Doom Wolfenstein he had a computer yeah. and I didn't and that was Fucking my first Josh in- is rad dude. Yeah, this was my first intro into Josh PC cool. gaming yeah. was over at Josh's he had a little bit older brother who was a smart guy Brian right. he had the brains and he fucking would build computers and all and that's where I got introduced even Magic the, the PC Gathering gaming. Okay. and uh. Ah, magic. So much fun, dude. And I've like been playing Hearthstone recently. I remember he had a car bed, dude, just like fucking grandma's boy, and like oh, we would sleep yeah, in it together. No gay shit happened. But Are you sure? But we were kids. That's why we're grown up you now. Stay the, the night, gay shit you know. Happens. Dude, <laughs> guess what? I slept in Sam's bed last slept night. Slept in my daughter's bed. I felt weird about that. I can't wait for her to get home and go. I'm gonna ride dude, her. Dude, I've slept, slept in, in Sam's bed. bed before at the what? other house. What? Remember? We are same, same. You guys are just like my children. And I bet you had a couple boxed wines before you hit that bed. <laughs> you know? Probably. Well, Chances like are. Some ales, but yeah, maybe. A few ales. I had a couple fucking train wines. I miss our old days, Abba. We'd yeah, stay man. up till four in the morning watching oh, just, yeah. YouTube videos and listening Listen to Eminem. To tubes? Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, fucking good time. There's something bro. to be said about that, like just real blown out thing. It's yeah. uh, it's something that I want more of. This I year, need it man. more in my life too. You know, man. it's like there's a lot of hustle and bustle and go out to do these things and stuff. But sometimes it's nice to just hang out with a buddy or two yeah. and fucking just do some shit. Hey, 2016, we stood. Yes. Nah, I didn't. I failed. <laughs> You guys stood. I failed. You're, you're I, I can't. You're getting I can't say I, yeah. that I was gonna because I did claim it. I'm standing. It's 2016. I stand. You know. You spent a lot of time on your back. But I slept. Well, you know, there's I no reason to, to to dwell on your past failure. No, it's okay yeah, though. No, it's I'm okay with forward. it. It's 2017. I'm okay with it. 2017. And, and what, Chase, what do we do in 2017? Um, we tip. Uh, we tip. Tip. I, you, you, hey, we do. You want to tip? I upped my tipping game today, you not did. even consciously thinking about it. I tipped more than ABBA. I mean, he, he won up me at the weed shop, you son of a bitch. So technically, ABBA overall in totals of tipping today, is a he's up a dollar. But, <laughs> we're, you know, we're, know we're, not we're not keeping track. We're not keeping track over like here. like you are. But uh, <laughs> I tipped her $3 today, man, and it felt good. I was yeah, like, hey, tip. lady, I'm not drinking. Uh, I'm just ordering food at Dude, your bar. You know what's nice you don't have about to see tipping? Me. Sometimes you can tell that person's in a bad day or whatever, and you give them like a five dollar tip, and they're just like, "Thank you," and they just like perk up. Gonna go get a cup of coffee, you know? Shit, maybe a Percocet. (laughs) What? What? You never know. I don't know what happened. Maybe a Vicodin. Who knows? Where you? I don't know what just happened. Yeah, where that went? Maybe you can buy a joint, dude. Can I tell you guys this crazy conspiracy that I've been into lately? Yeah, please do. Yeah, hit me, dude. This is gonna run deep. All right, please. This is the whole. Cult of Keck and Donald Trump meme magic conspiracy. Have you heard about Jesus, this at all? I don't even know what half those words Have mean. Have you heard Keck? about this at all? all right. I know a cock, Check. but I don't think that's <laughs> I it. I know a cock when I, I see one. Yeah, is this about penises? Um, sure kind so. of. No, okay, so <laughs> this goes back to kind of the whole presidential race and stuff. And basically, 4chan, the anonymous boards, uh-huh. um, they – this goes way back to that – I believe it was like in Vietnamese or in Korean when they would put LOL, it would be spelled K-E-K. Okay, so it was yeah, kind yeah. of an inside joke on the 4chan forums to use K-E-K instead of LOL. Gotcha. Makes All right. sense. And then in the political forums, basically, Donald Trump became like their – 
mascot, the ones that this forum was really behind and backing because face it, Donald Trump is this is almost like represents anonymous. Like they're just fucking this conglomerate of everybody's like true feelings and anger and whatever, because they can say whatever they want. All right. So they're all posting about how much they love Donald Trump, you know, and just and pro Donald Trump stuff. And they're doing the KEK and then fucking they're using the Pepe the Frog meme. You know, do you remember that? Yeah, the yeah, frog yeah. guy and he okay, suddenly yeah, yeah, the frog yeah. meme suddenly became incorporated into the Donald Trump stigma of like they would post him with Donald Trump's. Is that the same as like stuff. it's the W B No Wrong it's not frog guy? Frog. No, right, I mean it's a frog. All right. It's Pepe. A, a cartoon frog. frog. It's a oh, cartoon what, frog guy. What is Pepe, real quick? Look it up on your goddamn phone. You're on it anyways. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this whole time they're posting Pepe the Frog memes with pro Donald Trump stuff using the word or using K E K. Okay. They're also super big into on that forum because it's anonymous, but every time you post, it gives you a random digit that's like 20 digits long. And every time they get like doubles or triples, they like celebrate it. You know, it's like awesome. And they'll like make predictions like, you know, you know I'll fucking I'll do this if I get doubles or dubs or whatever. And if they get it, Dude. they post it or whatever. The fact that they're calling so, them dubs. Yeah. OK. And now check it out. But every Bro, time there was a weird thing where every time they were posting Donald Trump and Pepe the Frog, they would get triples and dubs and quadruples in the post. And it just became this crazy fueled thing. Am I fucking losing you? Nah, no, no, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. I'm still here. Stay with us. Okay. So they're doing all this, and then fucking Donald Trump is doing well, and nobody expects it. And they're like, this is fucking crazy. And then they start looking into it, and there is an ancient Egyptian god of chaos. There's a man with the frog head named Kek. Really? K-E-K. Absolutely, hundred percent true. If, All right. if you've lost so anybody, then, you just got them back because so, I'm hook, line, and so sinker then right now. They Keep were like, going. they were like, what the fuck? We like the, so the what they expect is that chaos magic. Chaos magic is this whole theory of basically um, willing something subconsciously, putting something into the ether, and it's so strong. The will is so strong that it ends up happening or taking fruition. And stuff. Right, like me eating and so, a bag of Cheetos. So then they're like, we had hundreds of thousands of people using the keck, the frog imagery, and the intention of Donald Trump beca- being chaotic and overturning the system. Right. That fucking that became this subconscious thing and basically summoned the deity. We of mind Kek, fucked the god of chaos. Trump into office, pa- basically. And then uh, what's even crazy? So this is the icing on the cake. So you think, okay, this is just crazy coincidence and shit. Look up the hieroglyph of Kek. K E K. Swear to you, it is a person sitting down at a computer. What? Did I someone fucking you, make that up, though? No, man. It's fucking, it's in the hieroglyph. I'm Googling this right now. The hieroglyph yeah, of Keck. Hieroglyph of Keck. How do you spell cock? K E K. Okay. It's the fucking K-E-K? Egyptian god of chaos, Froghead. Hey, check this out. No, and it's a dude hey, sitting at a computer, and behind it is almost like a DNA strand. Like it's the fucking essence of the chaos magic. What is please it called again? Please don't do your goddamn Siri. Just look at it. I'm up. looking at That's it. That's how I, I don't do know. Siri is. No help, but I'm I talk at to it. my phone now, <laughs> and it doesn't work, dude. It's awesome. Check this out. So I I turned a leaf. I already told you I went to the i music, right? Yeah. But now when I'm driving, my phone's plugged in. I go, Hey Siri, pause. Make my delivery. Hey Siri, play the song. Music comes on, hands free, tight all day. So <laughs> it's 2017, and Chase dis- discovered how to use Siri. <laughs> yeah, hands free technology. Good job. It doesn't matter when you get enlightened. Sometimes as long as you do. Happens. Yeah, as stretchy pants, happens. and I learned how to use my phone. You see the hieroglyph? Yeah, wow. dude at a computer. That is like an internet cafe. And man. then if you look at the ones that are kind of etched in the statues and stuff, it literally looks like the top half of a person looking at a computer yeah. screen. We're like looking at a screen, though. Yeah, huh. it's fucking huh. weird, man. I mean, something's so, happening. There's so, no way around it. Chaos magic, the cult of Keck, fucking anonymous. And so anonymous is kind of like they're stoked on us in this forum, and they're like, what else can we do? So they <laughs> got some fucking plans of brewing, dude. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's pretty nuts, man. Nuts. So, yeah. anyways, I've been a lot super, of energy going in towards is, uh, weird things. Yeah, and that's one of my Shit. favorite current conspiracies. Of that's one that kind of jiggles my butthole a little bit, makes yeah, me perk yeah. up a little bit. Yeah, me too, bro. We're 20, 20 some odd days from uh, our Trump presidency. What the now fuck? Now presenting President Trump. <laughs> I just picked up some Obama Kush. 
Yeah, oh, my boy, my Salets. boy Barry. Oh, boy. Salets. Which, yeah, I mean, fuck, dude. It's, it's really bizarre. It's like, co- it's co- really co- weird. Co- Wait, like, I still have you guys been doing this? Like, you wake up and you work in, and you just have a moment where, like, is this really Donald happen? Trump's gonna is our president? Like, it's, it's still weird. But it's also, weird. I don't know. I've been listening to a love enough stuff all about it that it's normalizing yeah, to yeah. me. It is where really it's is, like, but... yeah, when you look at all the facts of it, and yeah, there's a lot of headline clickbait, and and it's not like some good choices are happening necessarily. But when you look in the long scheme of things and how things have been done the whole time, it ain't much different, right? You know, Reagan was a fucking things, movie star, but... right? And like yeah. kind of a celebrity and shit. Yeah, that's yeah. what he was. Yeah. See, yeah, I didn't actor. even know that. I didn't. I shows what I know about this country ain't shit. Um, I don't know anything. People are already giving Trump credit for uh, our economy right, right now, which is fucking ridiculous. Because How, fucking, it's been building up. The economy has been building up the whole time. He's, he's not even take, in office. He he's didn't do taking shit. Taking over a good economy, right? Which means he'll probably uh, uh, time to. F- <laughs> you never know. Could be a fucking good four years to have some money in the bank. I mean, remember 2008, there was a panic. The stock market crashed. Yeah, it did. Yeah, we yeah. were all like, what Housing is going to happen? Housing market crashed, dude. It's fucking mm-hmm. nuts. Yeah. We- Look at us now. Yeah. Look at us now. Thanks, We're, Trump. We can't live <laughs> now. We live. <laughs> yeah, there it's it pretty nuts. All right. Should but we? At some point, you got to just not, not saying be ignorant by not caring, but at some point, it's just. Sorry for vaping. Should we do this top 10 should. burger list? Yeah, man, let's start it. Well, sorry. There's fucking... never a, a better time to do it than now. All right, high. so here's what we do. Hype. Too hype, we, man. the three of us. Ooh. Yeah, all right. We each you're, killing it. Burgers. you're killing it on this podcast. They're top Zeb, 10 burgers. You're killing bro. it on this podcast. So are you. Good you work. Know? Good job, everybody. Yeah, Positive good job, affirmation. You guys. We're killing this podcast. We're hey, doing it. Hey, we listeners, it. we're doing a really good job. Today. We're, we're doing great. Thanks for your we're opinion. Okay. I hope you guys are keeping up on your end yeah you fuckers you <laughs> listening well stick i'm enjoying me, this stick conversation with me. you know so we each submitted our own personal top tens yes we did and we had enough burgers that we decided we are at a point where we can make a top 10 list you know yep. so, this isn't definitive so. we don't know anything more than anybody nope. else knows nope. not we, claiming to be experts no. we haven't been to every place we nope. haven't tried every burger nope um and this isn't necessarily the best burger it's the nah. best burger place because typically we all have something different. Yeah, and we didn't – like I said earlier, we didn't do a lot of like going to places that were restaurants that supposedly had an amazing burger. We went to more burger specialty places. Yeah, bars, holes in the wall, yeah. places that burger were known carts. for their burger. Carts, yes, exactly. Carts. So we each submitted our, our top ten. Um, Complex algorithm. Each, yeah, yeah, each, each – each our math each ranking was nuts. giving a score, mm-hmm. um, and through the complex algorithm, we assembled a list of the ten, our ten favorite burger places. Are we gonna stop at number? Start at number ten? Mm-hmm. Might as well. Well, right. it'll make it easy because the, uh, there's a there's a three way tie for eight. Wow! Oh wow! Wow! Let me guess what it is. Angry unicorn. No. Dang it. Well, I'll do this first. Honorable mention. These these places all showed up on somebody's list. Didn't make the top ten. Okay. Stanich's. Yeah. Angry Unicorn. Yeah. Primal Bur- Dick's Primal Burger. Yeah. Good. These uh, are all good places. Laurelwood. Mm. And Brunch Box. Mm. I think I went Primal. Those are all good burgers. Yeah, absolutely. We all we had great experiences at those. Yeah. Places. And can I throw in another honorable mention? A place that we lost. Bu- this bu- we did. We lost one. We lost one burger joint. Mm. Boogies Burgers. Boogies. Bum, bum, Where, it was a delicious, great burger. A place bum, that I really bum, bum. wanted to try again, and uh, it is no more. That Kool Aid. That you could just get Kool Aid. And you didn't. I didn't know. And now you'll never be I'd able never to. Never go back. <laughs> yeah, fry sauce. Yes. It sucks, man. <laughs> like I, I'm like I. Rest in peace, you Boogies, because up. I fucked up. <laughs> I had a Philly. I remember what I got. I had the Philly burger. It died of heartbreak because yeah. you didn't get the cool. So, um, tied for eighth. We're starting at eight? Well, it's eight, yeah, nine, was, and ten. I was hit a tie okay, real quick. It's a tie. At, yeah, yeah. Let's Foster see. Burger, Slow Burger, and Rock House Grill. All right. Foster Burger, Slow Burger, Rock House Grill. How's that a tie? All great places. Oh, because it's on eight. They Sorry, all tied. Thought, they, thought, a, they all got the same score. Okay. All right, fair so enough. they're eight, nine, and ten right yeah. there. I will in, say in our top two yeah. were runaway. Right. Like these, especially yeah. number one. Consistent. Was at the top of everybody's list. All right. Not all number right. one. We didn't all rank the same number one. But right, but it was top of the list. Top three were very oh, okay. Good. 
Okay. Yeah. This I'm algorithm is complex. Slow Burger is. is a great place. The Rock House Grill, I kind of forgot about, but then when I was thinking about it recently, I was like, yeah, that was a great Was place. that the coast? The owner Phil. Rock House was Owner Phil's, the cart up on 82nd. Those huge burgers that were like oh, so bomb. Yeah, yeah, that place. Was All amazing. sorts of peppers so and bomb. stuff on it. Yeah, that was. A he had the fucking uh, grilled cheeseburger there. Slop. I can remember them. And we and owner Phil went on. Uh, we it was my birthday. Remember yes. or birthday weekend. Remember. Yeah. Go so, back uh, and listen to the episode. We uh, do it. Owner Phil and I had a couple shots. Yeah, you did. You guys were. <laughs> oh, we went to. Uh, was it Gladstone? Yeah, we went, went to, to the, Gladstone. Yeah. That was we, mm-hmm. we went. Deep. And he bought me a comic book. The only one of three I own. Yeah, we went to that <laughs> badass comic book shop. Down yeah, there. yeah. Oh, was that yeah, his recommendation on that place? Um, no, somebody no. at my work told me about. Uh, it. Okay. See, we do remember. <laughs> oh, it's a big yeah. border of burgers, but I can you know what do we number got? seven, number seven, and this is the this is kind of the one outlier because okay. this one was only on one list, mine, and it was ranked very high. So this is how it got on right, this list. Right. Okay. Uh Hawthorne Hop House. Yeah. Um, which actually, you know what? I had them again recently and they do make a damn good burger. I don't remember. Them. I had the the coffee burger. Oh, yeah. The one yes, with the coffee rub. Yes, yeah. And that right. we, remember we were supposed to go to uh we were gonna go next, to next level, level burger. It was but, packed. Yeah, fuck. We that. went next door to the Hawthorne Hop House. Great I burger. remember that. And I had one of my favorite burgers I've ever if had. If I sat place. down and thought about it, that would probably end up on my list somewhere in like the eight to ten if I, I forgot about that place. It is a that I gotta go back there burgers. actually. They do have good shit. Burgers. Number six, and this was on at least two lists. Okay. Um the local cow. Yeah. Local cow uh, out in Gresham was a. Uh, I don't know why I always I think of that place a lot when I think of my favorite. There burgers. was something something was about good, good about the that beef burger. was super good. It was home. It had yeah. That it was, was it. That's the word. It felt like uh, a homemade burger. It was yeah. It, it had but like I, I don't know. I gotta try them again because I do kind of put them on the level of like slow burger, maybe a little bit better than slow burger. But downtown maybe. Gresham, that little area is kind of cool too. Cool. Yeah, it's a cool like kind of like little. We had a good little time out there yeah yeah we should go again sometime we should number five all right take this it is, slow man this is a cart we're getting there okay um, um and i believe it was on at least two lists angry unicorn maybe three uh, no, burger was, guild that, burger guild burger guild <sighs> the place that shut sam down when she tried to order blue cheese. We, that was it another was like, fucking nah. surprise we had a little yeah. uh we had Remember some they had customer the service issues, but it was yeah. fine. a little bit. Yeah. The, the dude was slammed. We came there at the stressed. end of the rush. Fucking they were trying to close down because he was like out of shit, um, but still made one of the fucking it was bad. The stu- they had the stuffed. It was, they were stuffed patties stuffed that patties. had cheese and all kinds of shit in them and fucking. Fuck. Yeah, yeah I remember. It was good that. weather. We sat outside. Yeah, it was nice. That was, that was right, man. Sam was with us. Yep. Yeah, Which is was, always shout out to Sam. I slept in your bed last night. Always fun. <laughs> and uh, I miss Sam, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that place was a good burger. You'll see her soon. Number four. She was a good guest, too. She was. She was a great guest. We'll one of, one awesome. of our best like, episodes. No cussing. We didn't cuss on that episode. Yeah, it's a fun crazy. episode. What episode do you think that is if you had to take a guess? Well, it's the Jurassic World It was episode. early, like seven. So maybe? if yeah. you're listening to this shit for the first time because it's a new episode... Fucking go back to episode seven and listen to that shit. Trust listen me, to episode seven shit ever. with Samara, a little kid, cute as a bug. Our only PG episode. <laughs> yeah, we didn't cuss. The only she, one you can no play. dicks. And she can hold no the conversation nothing. better than all of us. Like, oh, yeah, dude, she knows she's, she's smart. She's a smart kid. Yeah, well, super smart. And that's Abba's daughter. He's to my left. Yeah, yeah. Come number on, four. Back right. arms. Number four. Now this was my number one burger for a long time. Yeah. Um, Ooh, you went killer burger. Mm. Number four is Club Twenty One. Yeah, that was yeah, one really, of our first burgers. You really like, and I loved 21. it. It was number one for a it's long a, time. They make a hell of a burger, man. It's really good. I love that you can just uh, do the custom option with the menu. It's almost like an old school deli. Yeah. Um, and they got a lot of their options. Specialties are great too. I went there recently and had the Shadow Burger. I think it was, which is mm. fucking good. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah it was like bomb, that place dude. A lot. It's like a tasty it's, one. And like one of my – I know a person – I think her cousin owns it or something like that. I was just reading today the owners of Club 21 are taking over the alibi on cool. Interstate. That's interesting because I had heard not too long ago that Club 21 was moving. So who mm. knows? 
A lot of stuff going on in Portland. Yeah, right? man. It's a lot of shit. Much. Everybody slow down. Yeah, Club 21 is an interesting – It's a. you're like kind of like – It looks like a little castle. Yeah, it's Pink weird. Castle. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, if you smoke, they have a cool outdoor smoking. We were smoking in Siggy's at the time, so we were huffing Siggy's. Dude, I miss that. Just <laughs> – Oh, get a couple in before the burn comes. That's and, what it sounds like when you smoke a cigarette. Number three. You know, like you're slurping a tiny – I don't know if this is going to make Chase happy or angry. Okay. But our third best burger uh, joint killer. is Killer Burger. You know, I don't agree, but <laughs> at the same time, it made top three. It did make That's top a three. pretty impressive thing. It wasn't and my number one. I think it was my number two. It was your number two. It was Chase's number one. It's pretty impressive, man. Um, There's a lot of good burgers in this place, and it's arguably well, that that – a lot of people will say, oh, it's not even that good. They, they sold out. It's corporate. But – but it, they make that. a good burger and it's that peanut consistent. butter burger. Shut the fuck up! You can go up. to Killer Burger and every time have consistently yep. have a delicious yep. meal. That's it. I uh, didn't put Killer burger. burger on my list. Wow. Okay. Fair and enough. I'll tell you why. Um, I've had that peanut butter burger four or five times now. Mm -hmm. The first time I ate it, it blew me away. Right. Mm -hmm. I was, it was monstrous. It was amazing. Yeah, and it's normal. And I, I still like it, right. but it just. After all the different burgers we've had, yeah, it just doesn't hold up. But have me. you tried the you know the Jose Mendoza? The Jose Mendoza. Uh, the, I like the fun guy. Um, and they have another one that's more. It's like a pork. It's a juicy, something delicious that burger, something. man. It's they really burger. are. They make good some burger. good. Like shit. if you think about it, like it's like it's a flavorful fucking experience. You know, I a, want one every time we talk about it. I but dude. I'm a peanut sauce fucking Correct. connoisseur, man. I yeah. love the shit. Like we yeah. said earlier, uh, if it was up to Chase, we'd go to Killer Burger every, every time. <laughs> um, I would, I would have happily went but, there today. You know what's another place that we've gone to that I tried recently, and I was like, I was about to gonna put on the list, but I just couldn't figure out where. But a little big burger ain't all that bad. Like I think yeah. you know that they're just small is the only problem. And they're not even really that no, small. No, it's not. It's, it's a quarter enough. pound patty. And yeah, they give you a shit ton of fries, but you know that I don't think that made any of our. Did they get list. the rosemary truffle fries yeah. there. It was, and that didn't make any of our list, but it was a, it's a good place. Man. Number two. Number two with a bullet. <laughs> Frack Burger. Wow. Yeah, dude. One of our most recent. Nowhere. Nowhere. Just came up and fucking and That boom, place is got, a special took, place to me. Took man. the number two spot. And I'm interested to go there again and see what my experience is like. But that one time, man, it blew me away. I can't imagine it'll be any different. It looks like the kind of place where that's what you're getting. That's where you're getting. Yeah, no. Holy shit. I I'm can, fucking having trouble. I can literally <laughs> eat that burger or killer burger right the fuck now. Yeah. Like that's how I'm I'm there. I had chicken waffles today, man. I'm fucking Wait, chicken and waffles. Oh fuck oh, up. Oh. Fucking heavy burger right now, dude. Like just now you're ready for a burger. Oh, I'm hungry. All this burger talk. I, I, I can eat a big the bowl weed, of man. So we're at the Sucks. number one, huh? We're at our number I one. I think that you, we Chase I wonder if he can predict what it is. I'm sure now, he can at this point. Uh, this burger hold on was my number one okay and it was abba's it was number, my one, number one yeah and it was your number three. Oh, um he can't remember it because last night when he was putting together his list i kept saying it and he'd be like no and then he asked me what was that one card oh <laughs> jesus we're talking David's old and recent s s stomping grounds <laughs> where David fucking gets it in. The old uh, stupid burger. Stupid burger. Holy Two shit. Across from Williams, right? Yeah. It was voted by. best burger in Portland by the people, and we ran an extensive experiment and came up with the same that result. That motherfucking <laughs> burger was religious. Yeah. It is good. Um, yeah. And... Comparable to brunch box in a sense, but brunch box just nowhere near it, you know. But yeah. as as far as like putting together a messy big burger with all kinds of shit Fuck. on it, not afraid. And the experience, like, yeah. The guys working there, are fucking awesome, so cool. Just yeah. like fun and fucking awesome. You just walk in there and they they know you're you're eating a big meal. You're yeah. a big boy eating a big meal, and they know we're it. making you a big burger. Well, there, yes, there's their burgers. There's a the stupid burger. There's isn't there like the insane burger yep. or the crazy burger, oh, dude? And they're, I. 
yeah. just want to get and all six of them. I want to go there right now. I want to go I there, go Killer Burger. Burger. Let's go there after the beat. Let's celebrate this burger experience by eating one, one last, last one. Burger, the number one. Yeah. Number one. I think we got to give a number one. <laughs> Congratulations to Stupid Burger. We should go give them a little award. We should, we should make we a little should trophy. We should go ribbon them. <laughs> triple Stupid B Burger, approved. you are Triple B's favorite burger. Favorite airport. burger. Shout out, fucks. We, we ate a lot it, of burgers. We so, did it. We ate a lot of burgers. So, let's not beat around the bush here. No. We no. are at a crossroads. Yes. We, are. we think we As may friends, have found, as lovers, as everything. We found the best burger in Portland, and that was one of our, that was our mission. That was our mission. And you know, yeah, we didn't try them all. We're probably still going to hit up some, but... It's new year, new season for us. I think it's, it's 2016. Time for a it's 2017. We need, yeah, we need another mission. We're thinking about changing up our quest just a little bit. We're we not thinking find, about it. We're gonna do it. We're going to find the best slice of pie in the city. We're going pizza. We're going pizza. Triple yeah, B goes official. pizza. 2017. It feels good. Triple B goes. We pizza. said it, boys. It feels good. It's yeah, liberating. Hey, you feel touch it? Touch my hand. Yeah, come on. <laughs> touch, touch my, my hand. hand. Touch mine. Can we say a little prayer? Yeah. Everybody close their eyes. Everybody close their eyes. Dear Jesus. Thank you, Burger Gods, for selecting us to find the best burger. Now that we have conquested our mission and achieved the results, we shall move forward into the land of cheese, marinara, and crust to find the best slice of pie on the city. It's not a, it's not a big mystery, boys. Old Prings is a pizza fan. Springs likes pizza. He's got the shit tattooed on the his leg. Pizza tattoo. Oh, yeah. Come on, dude. He's a Ninja Turtle guy. Come on. So this is the start of a whole new uh, this is thing it. for us, man. We're I'm excited. Pizza. I'm excited about this new adventure. And uh, we've yeah. been... Who knows how long we'll do pizza for. Yeah. But when we feel we've accomplished what we set out to do... It's good. We'll move on. You know what? There's a lot of pizza places in this There's city. a lot of pizza And places. there's going to be a lot of pizza in this old gullet. And we're going to travel far. <laughs> and we're going to travel wide. We're going to wear sweatbands, boys. We're yeah. going to find the best yes. goddamn slice of pie. Yeah. And it's going to be bomb. God, man. I'm excited. But here's – I've been thinking about this. This is a little pizza conundrum, okay? Okay. Pizza's expensive. And if we all want to try a certain pie, maybe we just have to go smalls, three well, smalls. a lot of places do slices. Yeah. We're going to go to a yeah. lot of places do slices. I'm sure there will be some kind of small, some personal scenario. I'm pretty sure, like, me and Zeb can probably agree yeah, the same. on most pizza. Right. Well, here's my thing. Here's my thing with pizza. But we got to try some crazy shit. I don't need a ton of toppings. No, me neither. You're not a toppings guy. But I also am not super picky, um, with the exception of, like, pineapple. Right. right. You know, I'm If a- you want sausage and mushrooms, I'm you in. Know, I'll have that. Pep, I'm a, I'm a pineapple guy. Pep. Sausage, uh, you know, olives, mushrooms. Like right. I love that combo. I'm cool with but, that too. You know, and I'm I love cool with that the too. other meats. Some if you get the chance for salamis. Because I, like I'm a, that. you know, I, I like a straight pepperoni. Too, you well, know? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, margarita. I'm kind of a pizza purist. Yeah. Now listen, now now let me qual- qualify that by saying that I have ate just because you've been to Italy some twice, shit pizza. But like I have eaten Pizza Hut more times than I can count. Right. I will come home with a frozen pizza from Fred Meyer Your any Red day Baron of the week. Your Red Baron game is on point, Red though. Red Baron, some Tonys. But Dude. I've eaten pizza in Italy. Yeah. Yeah, that's And true. I've had, had the life-changing pizza. pizza flavors in my mouth. Yeah. So when it comes to actually judging a good pie, I think my parameters are probably slightly different. Yeah, I and, I, and yeah. I feel the same way about me, dude, because, like, I grew <laughs> up with fucking Papa Pete's Pizza, just and we're talking. You grew up with Papa Pete's Pizza. This is the best Zaw you've ever your had. Childhood pizza. I fucking grew up with Pizza Factory. This is the best me, pizza you've ever had. Though it's not only my childhood. It's the best pizza that's I've ever not, had. It's the, no. Yeah. No. I it ate is. pizza it's a in Gaeta style. at the beach. I ate pizza in Rome. Next I get to the that. Coliseum. I, I ate that. pizza in my underwear. Yeah, I eat pizza on the toilet. I've eaten overcooked pizza. Dude, this is I've eaten be a undercooked, thing, undercooked I think. pizza. We might get into some I like this. cold pizza. I can feel it. Is there anything better than a cold pizza oh, on Saturday morning? morning? No. Saturday no. morning cold pizza. Here's the deal. Yes. Remember, okay. Jesus Christ. Back to, back to Papa Pete's, but when we would have a Papa Pete's night, it was a special event, obviously, a thing. But I would have it in my fucking lunch, and there was nothing better than cold pizza for lunch. Question. Fuck, man. I miss that. What about what happens 
if we like are at one of these places and maybe we want a calzone. Yeah. What, I mean, does that count? We, but the, yes, absolutely. Because there's times, think about this. I went fish and chips a couple times, or like uh, Ch- chicken strips, a halibut burger. You know, I yeah, went fish yeah, bur- every now and so every now and then. Think about this. On top of that, we ate something like with beans and vegetables too. What's the like? Fuck? We go to Flying Pie. They got a great fucking yeah. Song. I think that's fair game. You know, we're going for the for the place for yeah, the experience. Best place. There is yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, I can't wait to go because, to Pietro's dude. Again. Here's the deal: you order a za. You, there's going to be a lot of sharing going on with the za, way more than burger. Let's try each other's yeah. pies. Exactly. Chase, let me taste your pie. Si- exactly. Yeah, Have a slice. Know. Let me get one of yours. You can get one of mine. to save money, we can split it up here and there. You know? Chase, I got a question for you. we can start you. getting some fucking sponsors. Chase, do you consider Find yourself fuck a good Googler? No. It's awful. Looking no. stuff up? No. no. Asking Siri? Nope. Nope. Even asking Siri, I'm not good. Because I have an assignment for you. Okay. Hit me. Um, Because you love Papa Pete's. I do. We went to Pietro's. Yep. Kind of similar. Very similar. Somewhere down the line, those were the same place. Yeah, they meet. Right. We, we Papa uh, Pete's has got a history. I need you I'll to do some investigating, you. and I I'll want tell, you I to it. find out. The, bo- the brother bought the recipe. No, but I need you to find out some the truth. Years, some dates. Okay. Yeah, some okay. I want to find out. Okay. What the I want you to investigate. Is. Chase oh. Pringle. Okay. Investigative reporter. Special report. My, you got Jesse my word. Jones. Oh, you got my word. I'm going to set up my laptop. I'm going to clean my room this weekend, all right? It's New Year's. <laughs> this is a, I'm feeling a little inspired so right now. So he's not just going to Google. He's got to start with the cleaning. I'm going to get my room clean. I'm going to get clothes right. put away, organized. We're getting the studio going here pretty soon down in the basement. I, I want to start this new year. I'm going to get the laptop set back up. An old prince is going to get high one night, sit down, and do some investigation. You might have to call Mark Graves. I'll call. At, over oh. there at the uh, Oregonian. That would be Ooh, fucking... Pull some history You files. might have to call. You might have to make some calls and find out, hey. I like this. And when Maybe take it like my, like my freshman year in college. We you know, when you like do, how you, you try can, a little bit. We got to try to figure out how you can record these calls, too, in case you need to reference them later. Right. Pull some facts. I mean, here's the deal. Um, I think I want to bring back from the basement... Once in a while. Okay. Once in a while. I don't know. Maybe once in a while. I was thinking about it. Nothing wrong with that. No, it's not. But I think people would like to hear you. they would. I think it would be fun. And maybe maybe I'll do some investigating. I need to stop talking right now because I'm not going to do any of these things. uh, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're bringing um, up a lot of things. All right. Well, we got to. I'm just high and excited. You know, it's the same thing. We're on a new mish. If you haven't seen an old friend in a long time, say like an artistic guy, it sparks some old feelings. Yeah. That's how I feel right now. I feel nostalgic. I'm excited. You're ready for 2017. I am. This year? Today was a good day. I've been in a real funk for about a month or two, and it got real dark this last couple months. And uh, and a little light, a little, just a little lift off the shoulders, some stretchy pants. Hey, man, you got stretchy pants. You got a haircut. Put me in a new mood. (laughs) Got a haircut. I shaved my head. I went. You figured out that you like your job. Yeah. I think I. You guys had a sleepover? Yeah. Sleepover. It was bites. It was good. Working out. And we went, we went to Barlow Indiana, Tavern and we ate, ate chicken, chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles. You're back in town. We're gonna spend we're gonna have some good quality bro time. Seahawks are in the playoffs. That's it. Oh wow, man, we, this is good. It's all it's good. All good man. Chill the fuck Everybody's out, everyone. So I can't wait for Me this included. year to be over. Oh, I can't wait for the Don't new year. Don't be so year. hard it's on yourself. Time. You're making it up, man. It's 2016 was a up. rough year. It was a weird one. But but it's but it's whatever. It's They're all the same. They're not gonna get less rough. No. Totally. No. It's the fucking law of the universe. Every year is the worst year, mm-hmm. or the best, considering it. Just you how you look at it. Let's uh, let's tell the people about Barlow Tavern real quick. All right, okay. Um, fucking over there on Greeley, situation. Greeley and Ainsworth, right? Uh, in yes. our neighborhood, kind of northish Portland, North Portland-ish. northeast, northish. Yeah, just a little bar. Um, it was a dark atmosphere. Some video poker, mm-hmm. a pool, table. classic dive bar, Portland. Looks like a Portland bar. Oh yeah. But for eleven bucks, oh, you can get some fried chicken. And you can get yourself two fried thighs, boneless yeah. thighs. Yeah, mm. that you know, that threw me too. I was big old waffle. Mm. Thighs the way to go when yes. it comes to good succulent. Meat oh, thighs. dude, a chicken thigh. I mean, we all... two bucks, two bucks ah. for the for for real maple syrup, which is kind of yeah. weird to me. Oh, well, you know, they probably kind of weird to me. Buy a big like imported, but it's probably some like expensive real fucking ass, shit. Yeah. Oh, Canadian good, maple. Good chicken. I think this is like, I don't know exactly, but it's probably 
good non GMO, yeah, no, no steroids, natural good. chicken. I've yeah. heard they have been told this about the place. It was fucking good. three B's. And those waffles, too, light and fluffy. They were good. Good man. waffles, good syrup, good chicken. We had a situation where there was misunderstanding. They didn't bring me my butter. I asked the waitress for the butter. I was high. I think she thought I asked for I think water. She said water. And then, but then those are two very similar water. words. But she didn't bring me water either. No, but he like, brought water. But like, he, she yeah, like went to the cook and said, hey, can you take those guys some water for she me? She was I'm probably slammed. thinking, I just poured them water. Yeah. Why do they want water? Right. But water did show up. So she, she, I'm going to go 100% she thought you said water. And she was busy anyways. And yeah, it was whatever. But I had to sit there for a while with no butter just thinking about my life, man. Right. It was rough. Fuck, I want to eat this. And I was like, yeah, do I just eat it without the butter? Like, it's fine. But I know it would just make Feel the experience better. a little bit better, you know. And then I was confused. Do I go talk to her? I'm scared, you know. We've been smoking a lot of pot. <laughs> just trying to fucking enjoy my chicken and waffles. So <laughs> Barlow Tavern, chicken and waffles, Chase, you're going three Bs? I really am. For the fact mm. that it's like down – it's a I, – it's in my neighborhood, and it's a new spot. I need a new spot. Slim's was my spot, our spot for a long time, but it just slipped into a slim place. Boom. Dang. Um, really? Wait a but, point. you know, I need something new around the house. And, like, you know, I eat pho so much, which I'm never going to stop. It's my favorite thing on the planet. But pho has turned into the new breakfast for us. We used to go American breakfast all the time or like a spot where you eat See, I like pho something for like that. breakfast. I've been less into pho lately. Just, yeah, it doesn't just, intrigue me. I'm into it's it. Weird. I wake up and think about know. it. I've seen a lot day. of people change from pho to ramen lately. See, I'm never making the ramen switch. I did I like ramen, ramen not into it. I like it, but it's not pho. It's, it's not pho. No. The same thing. The seaweed, there was an egg, there was it was kind of dry. I, I like all that that's, stuff. Yeah, it's just it tastes good to me. And that just depends what kind of ramen you get. You don't have to. I have went to this like over kind of by Grant Michaels Salmon Street. There's this ramen. Yeah, place. right around the corner. What, yeah. That little boxer. Uh, yeah, I went there with fucking uh, this girl, and and it's just like she was like, "This ramen place is so bomb," and I like got the Super chicken. Expensive. We sit down and fucking all these she ordered all this. Sh- None of it tasted good. None of I was like, I couldn't even fucking no, finish it. No, that place, I'm not that fond Fuck of. Fuck that. But I do like some... Ramen. ABBA, yeah. Barlow Tavern, chicken and waffles. Two Bs, but only because, yes, I had a great time. I thought it was delicious, but I haven't had enough chicken and waffles, I don't think, to really compare it to anything. Yeah. So I loved it. Great experience. I don't think I would go three Bs because I can't, you know... Fair enough. Really have much context, so it made me want more chicken and I've waffles. I've had chicken and waffles, and that was goddamn good chicken I've had chicken and waffles a handful of times, and... Yeah. Two or three different places. I've had Barlow a couple of times now. This is probably my third time right. having it. I'm going to go two and a half. Okay. Two and a half bees. That Very chicken, cool. Cool. so perfectly cooked, <sighs> yeah. tender, falls apart, crunchy. Good stuff. Maple syrup. Yeah. Delicious. What's not to butter, like? It, it hits waffles. your taste buds and all the fucking yeah, it's salty, sweet, sweet and savory. Your tongue's just going, thank you, 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 until it's over and you're like, ah, and then you want some more. No rush. Ah, give me sugar, 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 sugar. Sorry. I didn't mind bringing it. Carry on. Carbs, carbs, carbs. Go to triplebpodcast.com. Do it. Check it out. Follow us. Subscribe to us. Done all the things, all the stuff, the sound, any of the, the things. Stitcher. Oh, leave us an iTunes review, dude. If yes. you could leave a comment or a review yeah. on yeah. any of this Big stuff, thing. let us know that a you're like there. is awesome, a share is fantastic. But we see the plays and interaction, in, but we want to talk to you. And man. interaction is the best. Yeah, absolutely. Interact. Absolutely. Damn. Email us questions. Lo- we'll answer your questions if you want us me to. Send me a picture no, of your herpy I, dick, I and think, I'll see if it's. You know, I think I'm that with kidding. the change, that's a thing we'll be doing more. Hopefully, yeah. there's more fan uh, questions, more, more interaction. Get stuff. some merch. We're gonna get some. We're gonna get a merch game Please going, boys. Stop, stop saying things because you yeah. always say things. <laughs> I say it, but you, you gotta say it to do it. Things. I don't know if that's true. go to zebdac.com yeah. if you need to schedule studio things. time or portlandundergroundrecording.com. Um, go to concussedcreations.com for uh, merch. Why isn't nice he doing program. our goddamn merch? Go to we plug him every go. day. Go to Digital Snarl. Rob, give me a shirt. Dot com. Shout out to That's Elijah. <laughs> I'm joking. Shout out to David Mann Come and on. his uh, fluidy calf. Yeah, I hope, oh, he gets hope that gets better. <laughs> Use that foam roller, G. Uh, final thoughts. Yeah. Going into this new year, do you guys have oh, man. resolutions? No. Yeah. 
My resolution is to keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, I was killing it. I'm proud of him. Keep doing what I'm doing. Been, you're on a roll. So you go, you're on a roll. Firing. Just yeah. keep going. Get better. Um, another thing is like I really want to focus on this more and us doing more Same things and, and creating more content. Up, and up, up. Fucking up, I'm up, excited, up. man. Like it's weird. I feel like things are, uh, you it's know. It's because we did a circuit it's today. It's not all over, man. It's, it's you guys are You guys got over. your blood's flowing. Your we adrenaline's got some, pumping. Yeah, we had a good time. Ah, dude. The endorphins, right? Ah. We, we went and ran a track on Thursday. Yeah, we ran cool. over two miles, dude. Jesus, Chase, ran over Chase, I ran you have, over two miles. You have no resolution, no New Year. Nah, resolution? dude, I'm, I'm, I'm can't keep doing that. New shit. Year, New You. I'm no, I, 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 consistency. I need to be consistent. Be consistent. I have the year. skills. I've been doing this shit all year. I keep falling back into these fucking patterns. I need to be not so hard on myself. I need to fucking try to enjoy some shit. I need to get out of my bed. Um, <laughs> Like for real, right, right. for real. Like this is real. I mean, people. You, I make jokes about it a lot. I, it's I real. sleep it's a lot. Real like I'm thing. a depre- really depressed individual, and we and worry like, about you when you. Get it's all like good, that, yeah. and I'm aware of it. But I know I need to do these things. But what it is is I need to be consistent with it. Like I, I always do this. I get excited and go. Ah, I'm gonna do. You know, it's just I just need to be consistent. I need to try to eat decent as much as I possibly can, and I need to try to get as much exercise as I possibly can, and that's it. Nothing more. Nothing. I want to get healthy. Yeah, you. I really I you need, do. To, you need, I need to. to get I do too. Let's do it. We need man. to. Like, and we can Let's use it. You can start it, coming bro. with us, and we could. You could walk on a treadmill for twenty minutes at a oh, little we'll incline. Bro, walk on the track. Start too, there. Like you what know? we were doing, we're just it's intervals like, of like walk a lap and then fucking jog a see lap. See what Take you do. As much time as you need and hard. Shit. Like you know, it is hard and it's a fucking big difference. But bro, I hundred percent believe that we can all do food. It, man. Booze. It's a hard one, man. Oh, it's just yeah. It's, those a, si- things, it's a it's a monster. It's physical food activity. To live. It, those are the things I need. And you want to uh, you want to stuff out bad feelings. It's like it's it's. But a then cycle. with the consistency, it, all it is too is like you have trained your brain for so long to go to those things for the comfort and stuff. And basically, you're de- you have to deprogram and look at these other things and you this other way of living as a, as how to uh, and program that as healthy habits rather than destructive. And habits. not make it like a. And I hundred percent believe. And not it. like a. It's like the whole like reward system. Like for me personally, is like. I'm going to have a cheat meal on the weekend. And then that turns into fucking Friday night. Yeah. And, and cheat then meal turns into cheat day, turns into weekend, cheat week. Turns into, oh, yeah. then it bleeds into Monday. Then you're snowballing. Then I'm like eating Ronnie's for breakfast on Monday. It's like, yeah, it's, it's a it's, real thing. With any addiction, that's how it goes. You allow like, yourself fuck. something and then it just, if you can't really handle it and it is that kind of addiction, then it just fires, spirals Like, up. okay, let me say this. I do, a, a goal of mine and this is going to be hard with a B, but whatever. But uh, I would like to do one month, a month of clean eating. Just one, like see if I can do it, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's hard. Absolutely. But well, like was, um, a thing that could fucking help us, and I actually want to fuck around with them more. Have you ever seen any of those like life RPG apps? That uh, are on the phone? I mean. I don't think so. All right. It's a pretty cool concept. Um, and there was a TED talk about the kind of similar thing a while back too about this lady just talking about like kind of viewing your life and you as more of like a video game character in oh, a game. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so the I've Life RPG shit. app, you just kind of – like this one I was looking at, you can set up goals. So say I was like, okay, when I get 100 rupees, I am going to buy the new Mass Effect game. But I have to get those 100 rupees. So then I set up things that are worth amounts of rupees. Run a mile, five rupees. Run, you know, fucking, That's kind of uh, cool. You know, go a week without, I, I without eating working. out. Go five days without eating out, right. five rupees or something. Right, right, So then right. each time you complete that task, you fucking – you earn those Sets rupees. Sets a little boundaries, you know? Because like and then you us being – Zeb and I in particular, like we don't have – kids we don't have you know or single well, and dudes then you set up like if like I, it's so easy to not have someone to keep you accountable right well, or even it, no accountability level that no up. accountability zero yeah you know so then it's a way for you and to like level up your personal hard. character of like i want to get my health in straight you know yeah so when you set up these rewards and goals based on those habits this whole year has been like up, man. like me you know it's the classic shit you start and you stop it's classic everybody does it this isn't like some fucking new thing that only I suffer from. You know what I mean? Like, my, my, you know, I'm a little extreme, so whatever. But that's just my personality. I can't help it. Like, that's who I am, right? And it's like, 
It's hard though. Like I, I just gotta shorten YouTube. my lows and like my highs, and it just whatever. It's been that way since I was a kid. No, you, two, you know, if you both are looking to get healthy, you have a major advantage because you're living with each other. You can really like help each other out with some meal plans, meal, meal prepping. And nah, kind of we live different, things. way different schedules though. And well, different that's lives. what I'm saying though. That's where what's it's hard like, about it, but where it's like Sunday football day, right? You fucking mean, cook some, some, some cook up and some then chili. One of the big things too that we like that. It, uh, so we can help each other out is. Just not keeping junk food in the house. Yeah, right? keeping absolutely. the shitty food out of the house. Yeah, yeah. Then mm-hmm. there's no temptation. Yeah, and it, no, and that's a huge thing. Buying groceries and being stocked up with good food with is, those is staples crucial. that you use to make various absolutely good crucial. Meals. And I've been oh. making some bomb meals lately. To be honest with you, man, like my A game is on point. All it has been. Um, but I've been like, <laughs> I've been trying to like eat veggies with every meal this whole week. That was my goal, and I did it. Minus yeah. today. But I've done like, it. Uh, I've been doing smoothies, like you know, kale. waffles aren't veggies. <laughs> yeah. Well, nutritionally, but, I think that a problem a lot of people make is trying to start their day out like as healthy as possible, and especially when yeah, you're yeah. beginning to diet, it's like you want those carbs and stuff earlier in the day, and then you want to shoot for your your evening meal, your dinner being more just like a protein and veggies. Yeah, yeah. And it's a little weird to get used to because you want that right. bread and shit. But I was doing kind of good before Italy. Yourself. You were, man. Yeah, you we were. had oven roasted man. chicken year, breast and yeah. veggies. I was Ooh. eating that for dinner every yeah. night for like a month. And you weren't drinking. Yeah, Ugh. that was another. And then I went thing. to Italy and got that post trip depression, man. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean Italy. Like I'm eating pasta. I'm eating pizza. Oh, I'm drinking the good Peroni. Life. Right. Then you got Nastro come back, Azzurro. Right. Come back to God damn it. As soon right. as I came back, I tried. I was like David and Chase. First thing I did. First thing I did was went was went grocery shopping and bought. The chicken breast and the veggies. I was just like, fuck And this. I got home and I was like, that's not happening. Yeah. I can't go back to that now. Yeah. And it's been a, it's been a, it's been downhill ever since. Right, right. All year. Yeah. Yep, same here, man. So, but I'm at I'm at a point, and it's not because of the new year. No, I'm but, just my natural. I can I get to this point where I feel that I'm. Like, I do the same it's thing. Time for it's a so change. weird. And it happens to coincide this year. 2017. Yeah, turn it around. Eh, whatever. But <laughs> make just make a no, whatever make a conscious ever daily. Yes. I just, you know, I think by like reaching out to you and like going running or like going, I still, I was going to get rid of Trainer John, but shout out to Trainer John. If you need a trainer, hit me up. No, you you guys. But we came up to a nice negotiable price that I can afford to keep doing. It's three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday still. It's a group scenario. It's kind of turned into Chase Does Curves. That's okay. That's my ego. Jeez, that's you know, like but you guys that's too, what like, it is. But... I'm not a fucking specialist. I'm far from where I want to be or anything. But I am now active, and I do want to do more shit. And once it is once the, the winter, shit, it's so when once it yeah, starts getting lighter, longer. We're like Abba and I were talking. Like we're gonna start riding bikes after work. You know, you and, like if running. You just want to fucking walk some stairs or some shit. You just gotta like, start like anything. I, I like just holler at me, man. I'm it's not pretty. It's not gonna. Be pretty for a long time my workouts have been ugly like dying like ronda rousey dude like ugly but it's like you know what dude like you could be very depressed about yeah you a few months ago you were doing this a lot easier or you could just work through it again and and try to feel better you know like that's just where i'm at because like i'm so tired of like being so self absorbed so self-conscious of like Fuck man, you know yeah. I'm not a good fat guy. Like I'm not, I'm not. Like I'm not a good. Not I don't good wear my weight well, and I don't. I'm not. Well, you don't feel with it. right, like you do. Yeah, because yeah. you don't look any worse than you know. You're you look good. You look nice. You, to me, you look that. it looks natural. Just like a guy, but right? I know. I, myself, see, I, I might maybe I should my self image of myself is real that, bad. That's exactly yeah, true. real yeah. bad. Your like, self image is Trader way worse. John's been than, saying that lately. He's like, bro, we need to change that. Like you're not, you're you're okay, man. Yeah. Like I'm like, but, I'm, dude, I'm, I see like a fucking I dude. If I could show you guys what I see, like you would be like, Jesus, that's Pepe what he the lives, frog. That's maybe what he fucking drive. lives oh. with every day. Like it's fucking dark. I'm man. tired. Like of being sucks. tired. Me too. Yeah. I'm yeah. always tired. Yeah. Dude, because I'm just 
fucking not and not, not healthy. Not healthy. Is, yeah, the weird it's thing okay is say, being active and yeah, being active and eating it better fucking gives you the energy. You it's feel so better. weird. Does. Just like today, fucking that fucking Nine workout day. absolutely killed myself. Just was <sighs> dying. I threw up and shit. But now I'm fucking. I feel so great. Brand's going you know? a mile a minute. You know yeah, what I mean? It's, it's That's what happens to me. Like you that. notice it, dude. Like if you, it sucks during it. it push absolutely. yourself physically. Like it's so hard. But like there's this period. Like a, it can last even. There's like a twelve hour euphoria sometimes for me, of like this like crazy spike of like I can't sleep when it happens because your body's You're like just actually like, using things. And you can feel it. It's re- it's things. really bizarre, it's and it doesn't take much. Like. Like it could literally be like for you, I think a good starting point would be like focused cardio. Like so like bike pedaling or like on the elliptical and just start at 20 minutes on the elliptical level five. Yep. Just and then fucking after like a week. Or got some heavy. You got go Michael to, Jackson on your headphones. After a week or week two, of that straight. 25 minutes. Yeah. You know what you I mean? Know, and, and then before you know it, like. Like you're hitting 45 minutes of level 10. And you know? when you start taking but that little amped, time out of your day. It changes your whole world. Yeah, it's when crazy. you start taking that little time out of your day to do it, you realize that that amount of time is nothing yeah. in, the, in the grand right. scheme. It's of not, day. but it's so It's hard, hard. to get yourself there. It's, so, it's, and it's crazy. It's well, like, dude, like think about it. Like if you really simplify everything, oh, like, oh just eat 2,000 calories a day. That's it. And you'll lose weight. You know what I mean? Or 1,500. You can still, like, eat quite a bit of good food, you know what I mean? It's, like, it, it's just those, like, it, for me, it's the late night stacking. For you, it's late night snacking. Like, we're mm-hmm. very same, same when it comes to that bullshit. Well, and, and you I guys, get high and get in my bed, and then, like, oh, it's hard an hour into, like, and then I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I, if I have anything in the house, it's calling my name. Oh, yeah. Come upstairs. Well, and, and you guys me. focusing on it, too, it's fucking like, fuck. helps me. To focus on it as well. Nah, you've and been, we dude. All fucking. Uh, at the beginning of the year, I was like, kind of like, God damn it, tips like feeling shit. like, fuck, I was killing it, like, God damn it, I, need, you know what I mean. But it's been really inspiring, and it's been really good. You're an inspiration. It's, Thanks, guys. It's been good, man. But like that's fucking the old. That's the doing, only thing I can give. We've is been to doing these Saturday do workouts for about three, four weeks now. Yeah, and they're getting better. Oh, um, awesome. and it's fun, and it's one day that I wouldn't be working out. Yeah, you know, and uh, that's what I'm saying. It's a, it's and it's a weeks. fun bonding thing too. There's something about, dude. He's literally got a whole gym to himself Saturday mornings. You could come completely, no one watching you. Well, you know, and stupid. you could go. But <laughs> we're talking like two or three people to a whole gym. Yeah. It, what could a big guy ask for? Nothing. You know what I mean? Roll around on the floor all you want. But I, I say, as a big guy, man, it's cool. you got to get that out of your head that, like, oh, people are looking at me or thinking things. Right. Because well, fuck I, what they're thinking th- anyway. Th- that, number one. And number two, when a fucking healthy person or, like, somebody that is fit sees somebody bigger fucking working out, you know what's going through their head is fucking get it. Good man. for that guy. Get it, dude. Yeah. I hope that I see you here. That's uh, That's more. been happening to me t- since I, like, I'm not a runner, but have been, like, somewhat consistently trying to run a mile here and there. Um, anytime I see like an old guy running like, or like yeah, a big guy too, I'm like, big old girl. I'm like, jeez, like, ah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. I know how fucking hard just running a block is, yeah. you know, like just moving your feet one speed, one mile per hour faster than you walking fast is like, will wreck your whole yeah. shit. One year from now, we're all going to look like Joe Rogan. It'd be cool. It would be really cool. <laughs> it would be cool. It would be fair. Our whole worlds would change. Well, hey, obviously, you know. Happy but. New Year, fellas. Yeah, Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year to you, the listener. Thanks for being with us. As always, yeah, we appreciate yeah, you. Yeah. We need you. You're the reason why we do this, hopefully. There's no other reason. Um, I want to kiss you. Yeah. Happy anniversary to my suck parents. Your balls. Happy anniversary. I just said suck your balls right Right you, as I was saying that. Say, Happy anniversary, Ken. And, <laughs> and uh, rest in peace. Carrie Fisher. Rest in peace, Carrie. Rest in peace to the world. May the force be with you. May the force. Thanks for listening.